Yeah. THC eight? Yeah, eight. Bro, I probably ain't eight in twenty four hours. I mean, Why? I need some. Cause my stomach been so fucked up from so much alcohol, bro. That white shit? You fucking up the line or something? Shit. What? We're live. Oh. We live. We're live. We're live. Oh. And uh, you're gonna let me know when I'm supposed to do that fucking run through? All right. Oh. oh. Oh my God, guys! I just want to go ahead and just start this off by saying it was not me this time. Everybody be in the comments saying it's me. Oh, every week it was me for the first time. That's a fact. I'm gonna give you that. So you're claiming <laughs> that you what? You have like some kind of sickness or something? No, I'm good now. You're capping, acting like you got a disease or something? Nah, it was just you know all these multiple trips and shit, like just the alcohol consumption and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like I really, I really felt like a bitch this weekend in Houston, like the last day. Why? Because you couldn't drink like the other people guys. People was like, "Come on!" I'm like, "I'm You're like, like no." Nah. I'm like, "No." If I have something else, I might. Not. I would feel like such an outsider if I was hanging out with you in that arena where, like, I'm just not gonna drink. We <laughs> popped like 49 bottles, no cap, in one night. No, no, no. Like the three days weekend. Okay, but that's still crazy. Yeah, all you had to do was watch the story. My story it will show you, show it off. You who know you, what? Who were you there with though, and why? Pun. My, it was his birthday. So you guys, my manager, went to Texas to get have a few drinks. So we, we ended up going in November, and we was like, you know what? We should come back, and we needed a reason to come back and do it the right way. What was so the, the reason? It was Pun's birthday. Did you give Yuri your phone? Yeah. It was Pun's birthday, and, nigga, it was like 19 of us, bro. Mm. And everybody was just a, a, mandatory. Everybody got to buy a couple bottles and shit. Mm. So we was just going to every club. Every nigga just dum, 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 running it up. Breaking bottles over people's heads. No, not doing that. I'm going to go to every club and buy a pound. Hmm. And buy a pound? Yeah. And just smoke like 1,800 blunts real quick. Are they really going to let you in the club with a pound of weed? Like They might visible? let the clubs Adam. I go to? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the clubs you go to? I'll be on stage holding the pound up to my The, ja oh, the my Jack Shacks? <laughs> go ahead. Bring whatever the you want in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Off the side of the road? <laughs> go ahead. Bring Yo. it. Yeah, you haven't been hanging out on Friday, so you're missing out on all the fucking I terrible I'm, jokes. I'm going to... I'm gonna. You know, what's, uh, you know what's crazy, too, is that I've been gone so many Fridays, but I watch you guys to just check on y'all. But to make uh -huh. sure, like Batman, to make sure you guys are protected. <laughs> How do you feel about the fans being not rope gang anymore? Now they are the meth heads. Wait, what? Because, <laughs> because I legendarily did meth. So now anybody who watches this podcast, Thank you, I, I'm just calling on you the made, meth heads. Shout out to all the meth heads. Wait, do I got to get the rope gang covered on, on my knuckles meth now? Meth head, yes. I could it's do perfect. that. perfect. It works. What yeah. yeah. happened to pasta gang? You, uh, you started it, and then you stopped talking about it. I, that was the best. AD's most ridiculous, uh, like, handicapped thing that he just kept saying it was Pasta, was pasta Gang. gang. And, yeah. then, and then we go to the mall. I go out in public with him for once. The only time that you and I have ordered food in public together, and you get hamburger wontons. That sounds kind of good. Why would you snitch? It's not even snitching. It's just we were with Blueface. You you wanted to show off. You wanted to get your your nice Cheesecake Factory items. <laughs> Nigga said hamburger wonton. Wait a minute. That's this, really the what it was. The Give cheeseburger spring rolls are Give fucking amazing. Okay, if you no, ever do no. that. But the Southwest ones are way better. Don't play. The and you got and you got and you got to dip it in ranch instead of whatever salsa it comes with. Pause. Mm. What? You pause the ranch? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh wow. Speaking of ranch, you want to hear one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my entire life today? What? Today. So you guys have been to Sweet Green, I assume? Yeah, yes. of course. Everybody in L.A. knows about Sweet Green, and really every major city in L.A. I feel like has Sweet Green at this point. Anyway, In America, not right. in L.A. Last night, because for some reason, you leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> this drops March 19th. I want to throw that out there. I'm going to put him right here by my coffee. Um, so Sweet Green. Last night we ordered salads, and I got extra salads so I could eat it for lunch today. Mm -hmm. Somehow, along the way, my dressing got thrown out. Oh. Mm. I ate that shit dry that today fun. because I was so hungry by the time I got to it that I like would have had a headache if I didn't eat again. You don't have you know? no like uh, dressing at your crib or nothing? Lena. <laughs> no Lena ranch. Get on it. What is that? No ranch. I don't know. I didn't see anything that looked like ranch in the fucking. At least some Caesar. Some vin vinaigrette. Italian. Blue, blue cheese. I was thinking Island. about something. <laughs> Ketchup. I was thinking about <laughs> scraping some fucking, some like garlic aioli or something. mayonnaise. I was thinking, I'm like, what am about I going to put mayonnaise on this shit? Lemon juice. Lemons. Something. Salt and but, pepper for dressing. Yeah, but not yeah. Oh, salt dressing. and pepper and water. <laughs> <laughs> just make your own dressing. That was the whitest thing Josh has ever said. That nigga said you don't have any sauce, just put some salt and pepper I honestly, on it. Honestly, like eating it without sauce, with, uh, without, without sauce, 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 sauce
really showed me like how trash those salads are. Like, why am I eating this bowl? A thirty dollars salad. A little bit of kale, some chicken, some parmesan chips. It's like without dressing, it's just nothing. It's the yeah. worst. And I'm just, I don't know. I just, I, it, it kind of like ruined that salad for me. I'm never gonna get that fucking stupid Bro, Caesar, Caesar that, again. That reminds me, I was in D.C. and I went to fucking Chick Fil A, and I walked from the hotel and I got my Chick Fil A order. With no goddamn sauce, bro. Just walked back. What sauce you mean? No, like, you know, Chick-fil-A, you got to have the sauces, bro. What sauces? Yeah, I like getting all oh, the sauces. Chick-fil-A, why am I yeah. thinking of Chipotle? No, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. Chick-fil-A without any kind of sauce? Well, like, you it could be any sauce, but if you got a sandwich, I have one, bro. If you got a sandwich, it's fine. No, I had the fucking, the yeah, chicken, the chicken. Honestly, little, though, I was on? driving the other day and eating Chick-fil-A in the car. Actually, this ties into perfect, bro. Why does every time I have women in my car, they disrespect the fuck out of my vehicle? Because you hang out with meth heads. Shout out to our fans. Shout out to the meth and heads. also ketamine fiends. <laughs> and, uh, A lot of horses around your car. Prostitutes, dead horses. I don't yeah. know. Like you, you associate with some pretty wild broads. Wait a minute. Or at least you I, used to. I, I what that. is the condition of your car, though? Okay, so the first time this happened, the bitch emptied. This was a couple weeks ago. Bitch emptied out a full backwood and ash, and it was weed crumbs all over the back seat of my car. On purpose, or just I, I, maybe she just maybe she didn't have nowhere else to. Th- he, I don't know. He brought a girl over my house one time that was rolling a blunt on the carpet. How many times have you told this? You story? told this on the No <laughs> Jumper Show it. seven I times. It. I, times. Seven times. I would have never even thought it was possible for someone to want to roll a blunt on the carpet. No, I ain't gonna lie, I'd be listen. pissed off ever too. But listen, so. So I'm in the car. I'm in the car. I'm driving. I just get to Chick Fil A. The bitch leans over my shoulder with the whole thing of hot sauce open. Like, hey, what other sauce you got? And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> why? I'm driving. Why are you leaned over in the front seat with the hot sauce just open? And my High Rollers North Face collab jacket that I, I had that. just dropped was in the back seat. And I'm like, bitch, you about to spill the sauce? On a jacket that this kid paid for. He paid a lot of money for that shit. Like, uh. calm down. So, I guess she threw it out the window that I didn't see until later, right? Mm. I get home. Nigga, I get out the car. There's hot sauce <laughs> trailing all on the side of the, of, the, of the car outside, right? And I open it up on the inside. It literally looked like she had just went to the fucking equestrian center and stomped around in her fucking boots and then stomped in the back seat. It's dirt all over the back seat. She must have stood up. And she must have stood up in the seat at one point because there was dirt footprints on the seat. Wait you hang minute. out with wild animals. Wait a minute. Were you fucking a nomad? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I my don't God. know. <laughs> But, like, I picked these bitches up from, like, West Hollywood. Like, they were, like, you know, like, kind of, like, like... you picked mm. them up off the street. Like, you, you need to stop, you need to stop oh, picking up stray women, no, bro. Me. That's, that's, that's the problem. That was a big part of my life when <laughs> no, I was picking like, up stray like, women. Meet a girl on the streets. Hey, come over. They were not stray women. Like, I picked these girls up because they were at Saddle Ranch, and they told me to come pick them up. Any girl at Saddle Ranch exactly. can probably fuck good because she rides the bull. <laughs> what if she falls <laughs> off the bull immediately? I'll still take a chance. <laughs> well, if they at least try, it's a good sign, right? Exactly. Yeah. No, but th- th- I have a lot to say about people who are cautious about knocking drinks over and people who are not cautious about knocking drinks yeah. over. Let's put a pin in that real quick so I can just talk to you guys about a really great offer. March is here, and the madness has officially begun. It is time for you to shoot your shot and score big on the nonstop action available on mybookie.com. Select the winners from 63 tournament games in the MyBookie Bracket Contest for a chance at $10,000 in cash prizes, and it's only a dollar to enter. It doesn't matter whether you're filling out multiple brackets, betting the national championship winner, or simply looking for player and game props, MyBookie has you covered. So sign up today at MyBookie.ag and use promo code NOJUMPER to secure a deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code NOJUMPER to claim your first deposit bonus. Gang, gang. Shout out my bookie. Shout out to my bookie for supporting us. And we need to make another version called My Cookie. My Cookie is uh, actually the Crip version that I heard that you've been working on. Yes. Thank Where's you. my cookies, aka my uh, Sherbalado? Yeah, we, we are actually going to talk about this in a little bit, but yeah, we definitely got to make Can sure. Can I have you, one? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, just, of course. Let's just uh, keep that on lock until later. But I do want to say that I won my, big, my biggest poker uh, I tournament. I seen that on Twitter. My biggest was, poker tournament in my life, yeah. $32,000. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was great. And you, told, you promised me if you win over $10,000, you were going to give me half. No, did I Whoa. say that? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have got that in writing. I'm like, what? 
I'm like, shit, let a nigga hold some. Hold on. No, you didn't say that. How long were you on uh, stream for? Like, doing I think it? it took me about 11 and a half hours to win that tournament. But 32 bands, that's worth it. Yeah, I was about to say, that's very I much played a lot it. of other tournaments during it, and I actually did pretty good in those ones, too. So I, I broke even for the day, and then I won the final tournament for 32,000, and it took me almost God 12 damn. hours. And I think, like you said before, the most you won was like seven bands or something? The most I won before that was like 13K, so to finally hit a, a real big one for 32 was well, pretty how long uh, were you? How long were you doing it when you won... The 17k. All these tournaments like usually 7K. are like bare minimum, like six hours, and then like as long as like 12 hours. Like so that's that's part of the problem with like playing tournament poker is that you have to really be in it for the long haul. You got to sit your ass down and just be there. Let me ask you this: Have you won more than you lost when it comes to it? As of that 32k, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, before that, it was bad. If huh? you had asked me that a few months ago, I might have had to. Uh, well, Break even, I don't know, maybe break even. You know, uh, you sound like the nigga from the Muppets, the chef. <laughs> you, <laughs> you're a boomhauer, is what you are. That was what we were saying, though, is that a boomhauer would be a good slang term, and it doesn't have to just be for like a country ass white dude. It's just anyone like, yeah, who stupid. talks in a way that nobody can understand them. I do that. No, you don't do that. Oh, I was say I have a homie uh, named Kendall. Shout out my nigga Kendall. What, what's he, this? Why are you doing the little? Uzi uh, no, I was moving. <laughs> look, look, I was moving the mic. I was moving the mic closer it's to the me, hot look. sauce <laughs> residue. Yeah, but did you see this picture on my story that that basically proves the house phone is just a thick little Uzi? Yeah. No, I did not see it. It's like it's like the it's like little Uzi but fat with blonde hair and it looked like me. It's just a a, a thicker Uzi and it just kind of looks exactly like house. Phone. People send me that meme all the time. Oh no, I'm really excited about because I just saw it for the first <laughs> you just time. Saw, Dude, like, I get so many repeat jokes in my DMs all the time to where, like, most of the shit is not funny because I've seen it already. No, that always And I really read my DMs, so it's like, And uh, somebody who's really friends with you will send you a meme you've seen 5,000 times, and it will automatically make you think less of them. Dude, there, there's another guy that makes, like, shoes with dice on them. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> We're going to kill him. Every five seconds, someone tags me on his shit. I'm like, bro. I, I seen it. It's okay. Yeah. Like we can both coexist. No, we it's cannot. Right. Where's the blammy? <laughs> Vlad sent me a no. I I saw a, a picture of a, a a comment that somebody left that was said that Vlad looks like the clown from what the white zombie movie. Oh, or, from it or something. Well, like that? I forget what movie the clown was from. But I sent it to Vlad and he's he's like yeah. I've had at least a few people sending me that every week for like the past 10 years. <laughs> I'm like, so you were that Fuck, guy. I'm so that dude at this moment. This girl that was trying to hang out with me in New York was like, oh, do you want me to bring ketamine? I'm like, no, you stupid, retarded. Mm, she watches. Anyway, she knows. Yeah. I'm like, no, bitch, don't bring me no fucking ketamine. No more no man you. women. She knows how I'm real like, it is. Oh my God, fuck. She was like, oh, I thought that was a real thing. I'm like, no, it's just, no. We need <laughs> ketamine. I told you yeah. I always get pee from baby boy. You finally seen it. P? Huh? What do you mean? Baby, what's um, um, Jody's best friend? People always say I look like him. Oh, uh, he the, one who, the one who kills Tyrese at the end. Yeah, yeah. Well, you finally it. seen? Did, you yeah, seen yeah, Baby yeah. Boy? I finally saw it. When did you watch Baby Boy? Well, uh, it was like Thursday night or oh, something. Oh, you shit? did say that. You were like, you, you said that me and him were both Jody. You guys I'm are not Jody, both bro. Baby we, Boys for sure. No, no, no. We've discussed this, bro. I'm a modified version. A modified version. Okay, what I, I don't want to be the guy who is gets analyzing. wiped up and has a kid and then well, starts just leave treating, it alone, leave it alone. <laughs> no, I don't not, not, treating, not, not that you're single, but bop, like bop, bop. that treats all his friends who still go out and party like they're fucking crazy because that was me until a couple years ago. But it does like bring up a lot of points that are very very interesting about how we live our lives how a lot of the rappers that we we mm -hmm. hang out with that we know live their lives and stuff and it does kind of yeah. like raise the question of like how much time do you want to spend in this sort of like infinite childhood loop of just yeah. sort of like pleasuring yourself by any means necessary and not really mm -hmm. planning for the future or thinking about the future and the thing that really shocked me about baby boy is that it's a movie about that that really puts the blame on the individual, which yeah. is not really a common sentiment these days. Normally, you have people more like, "Oh, well, if if you're all fucked up, then it's it's the institution's fault, it's the government's fault, it's the police's which, fault." That's which you, that's which happens is, a lot now. Fair about a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I say yeah. which which plays a role in a lot of shit. But like the problem is though is that that explanation is not really like productive or going to help anybody like better their life. Like you kind of have to tell people that they need to on an individual level. Take, go out and take control of their life. Get your and shit really, together. Yeah. You know, yeah. But I, I think you could say that, but also say that like it is systematically harder mm -hmm. for people and people of color and shit. And there's nothing wrong with like saying that, but also like you said too, you got like a lot of people use that as a crutch sometimes. 
And I'm not saying that that's the case all the time, but like th- that that movie was a very good point of that. And he was a product of his environment, bro. Mm. Well, if you really look at that's it, that's true. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely a cycle. But He's repeating gotta, what was done to him, really. Mm-hmm. But you got to mm-hmm. think about how many times, like, bro, like, like, I don't know, like, I I seen my dad almost kill my mom in front of me when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I've never laid my hand on a woman ever in life, mm-hmm. and I don't think that that should be an excuse. And like people, people go one or two ways of how they were raised. They either branch off and they make their own like ideas and ideologies and they, they, they form their own new habits or they just get stuck into the same pattern that, that they used to. That is true because my grandmother used to smoke cigarettes my whole life. Uh, I hated smoking. I didn't smoke weed until I was like 21. You're the hookah God. I love hookah. I feel like that's different though. I love it. Hookah I have God. so many vivid memories of my dad and his fucking like Z Z Rock Camaro smoking Newports and I just being like, oh my God, I hate that smell. And then once I got of age, mm-hmm. once I got of age, I Copped was blowing Newport. them bitches down. That's why uh like me as a kid though, like when I think about it, I, I feel like I was destined to not be like a serious cigarette smoker because my parents didn't smoke and I would mm. go to my grandma's house. I thought it smelled crazy. thought it smelled terrible. I'm like, what the fuck is this smell? Yeah. And like, I would have everybody else in the family talking about how she needed to quit, how they wanted to quit, etc. It was always treated like it was a fucking sickness that my grandma was dealing with. Yeah. And then, you know, I, I tried it as a kid and I never really got that into it. Although I fucking love cigarettes now and it's like, it's a day-to-day struggle to not smoke them. That's kind of crazy. And it's crazy too because when I first came around, I didn't see Adam smoke cigarettes at all. Bro, man. I have not seen Since this. he became a father, he just be like, <laughs> he's so stressed out now because of Parker. Like, <laughs> no, but that's why I'm super lucky that nobody who works here smokes cigarettes. Nobody. Because if there was, if, if Josh had a pack of cigarettes, yeah. every day I'd be like, yo, let me get sick. And yeah. it's bad, it's bad stuff. I go on a trip for somebody with somebody for a week or two. You don't fucking drink. I haven't seen you smoke. I, a, care about that. I haven't seen you smoke a cigarette since like. I don't know, 2018, 20. If I have a, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we smoke cigarettes on here many times. Oh, for so, sure. But I feel like, you know, if I have like a drink, I'm going to smoke like a pack of cigarettes. Hmm. I'm just trying to wing off these fucking like vape shits now. And like, I don't even be, I like, I haven't gotten fucked up in like a month, I'll say. And I'll still smoke these bitches just on some sober shit. I feel like on one hand, I should not smoke cigarettes because I will probably die from smoking cigarettes. But then on the other hand, nah, there's so many people who have died from smoking cigarettes. And who am I to act like I'm any better than them? My grandma got cancer from cigarettes. Yeah, for real. You can get cancer from fucking anything, though. Yeah, you can eat fucking food and get cancer. So, hey. But that logic means that, like, you should just never consider the risk of anything that you're doing. No, that's the no. whole thing with cigarettes is that, yes, they're dangerous. Are they dangerous in the short term? No, not at all. In the long term? Yes, extremely. I feel like you can get hit by a fucking boulder tomorrow. So live life to the fullest and do what the fuck you want to do. I'm pretty sure in Compton, there's not a lot of stray <laughs> boulders. <laughs> you're so OD. You probably don't have to worry about boulders in these nah, streets. Nah, because like, like. On some real shit though, because shout out to my homie Milk Tyson. Like, he he deals with a lot of children. And milk seven foe. Yeah, milk seven foe too. Um, milk Tyson on, on a real serious note, he deals with a lot of children with cancer, and that's his. That's what he does, bro. And then you really see children, bro, like three years old, four years old, five, yeah. dealing with shit that we we take we take life for fucking granted, bro. And mm-hmm. then every day you may think like, oh, okay, I have time to do this and time to do that. And yeah. it could be all over tomorrow. And, you know, somebody may say, oh, he's young. He died when he was 20-something or he died at this time when there's kids who, who don't make it to see their sixth birthday and shit like that. You know what That's I'm saying? Fact, so I look at that shit, I be like, man, live this shit to the motherfucking the, the wheels. The number one off. thing that we all take for granted is our health. For sure, yeah, and because that's, that's you just the most don't know until it's gone. But and some, so but some things gone. you can't stop. It's like Steve yeah. Jobs had all the money in the world. He got taken out by a fucking sickness that he probably he had cancer too. And it was I don't his. Know what fu- he and he was an idiot about it. And he didn't fucking acknowledge. He tried to heal it with natural remedies and shit. If he had actually gone through chemotherapy cancer? early on, he would have been able to actually get rid of the cancer in enough time but instead he believes some supernatural bullshit but, but see it, it goes hand oop, it goes back and forth though because i remember about 12 years ago my uncle you know what i'm saying got him tatted big as fuck on my stomach um they told us he had probably a week or two weeks to live yeah. mm-hmm. and they told us to say our goodbyes they did his surgery to take out his diaphragm and shit like He's been alive 12, 13 years since then. Like he's still he's still alive. He's probably been through over 200 chemos and shit like that. Mm, and yeah. I go to say that it's like you don't fucking know. Look, you know you, what I'm saying? When it's your time, it's your time. And live this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. That's how I live. Look, you know what's crazy? My, my Nomad. 
it's crazy. My my older cousin. It really, it wasn't like my my cousin by like it was my cousin by like marriage, or whatever. So, um, he was like the older, cooler nigga, and I just looked up to him so much. He had all the bape, all the Evizus, yeah, every every video game, all the new sidekicks. Like he was really that nigga, right? So I remember school was about to start. I was in like middle school. He was in like ninth or tenth grade. School was trying to start, and um. He was complaining to my mom and his mom, like, oh, my leg hurt, like, my leg. And, there, and my mom played it off, like, oh, boy, you just don't want to go to school. Like, it's summertime. You're trying to play it off, blah, blah, blah. He ended up having cancer mm. at 16, fought it off for maybe, like, two or three years. What, to his 18th birthday? He had to get his leg amputated. The whole time that I was, the, the whole time from when he had both legs to after he got it amputated and shit, he never changed as a person. He was still as funny. He was still as outgoing. Like, he was, like, he he fought that shit to the end. He went to the strip club for the first time on his 18th birthday, and then he died a week after mm. that. R.I.P. my nigga Tyler, man. Wow, died bro. From, from that? From cancer, okay. yeah, yeah. Bro, but I'm wow. talking about, like, Every shoe that came out still, he had every one and he just had the right one in the box still. You feel me? And like, <laughs> like I remember it was his birthday party. He popped out with the fresh bait with the Ibizus and he had the Ibizus hemmed on the one leg, like all the way up to the knee. Like he was killing it, bro. He you think dudes it. with one leg ever find another guy who's missing the other leg and then they just go halves on <laughs> shoes like all the time and they just like you actually save a shitload of money. You could be no. dripping like crazy. Nah, my nigga was dripping and he just had his right shoe in the box all at all times. Just hold on to it. The right shoe never left, yeah. That's some prideful shit. I had a friend when I was, uh, he was like an early dude that I used to ride BMX with. And then when we were 16, he was riding his bike in the, in the snow and uh, he got like basically like sucked into a fucking 18 wheelers wheel oh belt. Oh my God. Right? And uh, we like went to visit him in the fucking hospital and he's got a catheter in. He's got all these tubes in him and shit. He's fucking missing like a huge, like his, his brain basically got super crushed by this fucking uh, Fuck. truck and everything. And it was like really weird because then he slowly got his health back and stuff but he, he had lost a huge chunk of his brain and i'm young i'm like 15 and it's like the reality is is like i am not trying to kick it with dude anymore because he was fucking he was super different after he lost that yeah, chunk of, of his course. brain he was an asshole he was like a total <laughs> no real talk though like he would say super rude shit because he don't got nothing else to lose at this point he like fuck yes it. it was and it really made me feel bad like especially as i got older i was always just thinking about it like bro yeah. that's so fucked up that we like all kind of a stopped baby. kicking it with him after he fucking lost a big chunk of his brain. But it, like, when I look back on it, bro, it really was like really unpleasant to be around him yeah. after a little while because he was just, he would just tell you that you were ugly as fucking shit. And like, he would, he would tell you that your riding <laughs> sucked. Like, you're never going to get no bitches. He was, it was really weird being around somebody who, who clearly like, did, it, he had kind of like lost the ability to tell what you were going to think of what maybe he was that saying. was, maybe that was the part of his brain that was gone. Oh, definitely. His, like, filter just got chopped off in the truck. Right, because I used to fuck with this other girl, and uh, then she got hit by a car and lost her fucking frontal lobe. Mm. And she was... I hung out with her a couple times after that. She was such a bitch. She just, like... She lost the whole part of her brain that made her a nice person. It's weird that I've had this experience with like, yeah, multiple, multiple people. Yeah, multiple times. But, yeah, she... And, and what's crazy with her is she was walking down the street outside of this college that I went to, and a fucking car just, like, whips up onto the curb and just uh, runs her no. ass over... On this street that I've walked down a million times when I was going to college there, and this bitch lost her frontal lobe. He <laughs> said, "This bitch." I'm just saying. How fast was this nigga have to go in to rip her fucking frontal lobe? Off? I don't know because she didn't even hit me up till like years <laughs> later on MySpace, and she just was like, "Oh, like, like I, you know I saw how? that you're back in, back on the East Coast. Like, we should kick it." And I was like, "Oh yeah, let's kick it." And then she ends up telling me about all that shit. And the crazy thing about it is that at this point, she had a boyfriend who was a fan of me. And mm. she was fucking me anyway and didn't even get, like, she thought it was funny. So, like, she didn't give a fuck what this guy thought about it. And that was, when I met her at first, she was so not the kind of person that would think it was cute. Mm. Well, I don't feel bad for her anymore. Story. Yeah, she sounds like a terrible person. I wonder if he ever found out that I was smacking his little well, shorty. Well, if he didn't, probably now. Is it how many people <laughs> lost their, their frontal fucking lobes? Yeah. That's <laughs> a good point. And is it is it bad when you tell the story I was just thinking about just like, running over Bagel, bro? I was just like, yeah, you, you definitely, killed the dog. Yes, that was bad. Yeah, you definitely destroyed all of his all his lobes. No, but I was just his <laughs> front lobe, back lobe. I was I was really thinking all the lobes like, are gone. what college was it? Because maybe it was maybe, me. Maybe it was a baby. It was a woman, not a dog. <laughs> not a dog. 
It was a person. <laughs> How's phone? Serious question though. If if you <clears throat> knew that AD back in the day fucked a dog one time, would you still be able what? to be Wait, cool? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why the fuck? How do we get to, to hit your dog you're, you're to like fucking a fucking, fucking dog, fucking bro? Dog. Who said you was fucking a dog? You acted like I was fucking a dog who got hit by the car. No, it was a woman. Where do these conversations come? My from? nigga, I don't know what. It's a hypothetical. Did How you, you lose feel? half would, your would fucking? Would you be able load? to forgive him? Someone make a graphic like they did of you and Please Aaron Carter don't kissing. do that. No, 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 <laughs> AD no, and a no, dog. No, no, do not start this. Every fucking week, you find something new to throw <laughs> on me, bro. AD balls deep in a book. No, picture. no. It has to be the smallest dog possible. Okay, oh please, God. please don't make that an image. Please guy. do not do that. I was that. just joking. Also, shout out to uh, C Mac the Low because we just premiered the his best interview. fucking interview of all well, time. You only saw twenty minutes of it and you did not I see the Lil Nas X best. part. No, I ain't seen that. The Lil Nas X part is the best part. Oh fuck her. <laughs> you gotta explain what, what I mean basically what, like he, I asked him if Don't I, ruin it Cause I wanna watch it Okay but Well yeah I'll just let it Let it rock okay, But okay. just Just know people out there that Cause I'm gonna I'm clip it And just put that part On my Instagram Cause it was like The hardest I laughed On the show In so long That's Bro hilarious. as soon as it opened I was laughing He came in Just determined To be just Turned the but, fuck up But it was Bro the crazy thing About it is Right He's so positive mm. with the slang. Yeah. He's like, I'm having a nifty ass day. You wouldn't think. <laughs> like, you sounded like, exactly like, like him. You would think that gangbanging was like super fun and never had any downsides on the way he carries himself. I mean, for the most part, until bad shit happens, it is fun. Okay, but I was saying this uh, before. I was like, would AD have taken a photo with him? If he was here, because I feel like that's yes, the nigga, forehead. Why wouldn't I? Because the forehead tattoo is crazy as hell, right? Doesn't that like sort of? But see, this for is, me, it's like I want to be careful about associating with me because I don't want other people to think that I'm on board with that. Nah, type it's, of shit. it's not that because Compton politics is different, different than man. LA politics. And when I say LA, I mean South Central. People from Compton, we don't consider ourselves from Los Angeles. I don't like Adam's infatuation with this. I wish he would just stay away. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Why the fuck you think they got me? It started with me. Yeah. They Nobody really said did. anything to you about me interviewing him. No, no nigga. That, I'm talking just, about your, just infatuation, your infatuation with, with just gang, gang bang culture. Is, like I'm infatuated. Like, ooh, AD. you literally are. He's in a gang. <laughs> it's so good. Like, what is it like? Yep. You're Compton. <laughs> Let me jack you off. So tell me what the prison showers are like, bro. Literally, See, here he goes. He already <laughs> he, he finds he finds a way to fucking ruin it. Nah, when he starts saying the the Hoover diss the other day, and we on live, we we're both like, yo, 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 relax. I'm not gonna say it. I no, know because he I was, I was inquiring about what it meant because I hear so and so say still, it a lot. See, still, see, still. like, and and just to 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 do an interview with Milk and like with C Mac, it doesn't. It's different when it comes balancing it out. No, but I'm talking about as far as like is me Compton politics is different than mm, than, than South Central politics. So it's like our neighborhoods don't if, don't see each other probably ever. If someone so, from so. your from your op hood. Goes extremely viral, and Adam has to interview them next week. What's going to be the ba- what's going to be the back? I can't level, do it. But there's levels to ops. Yo, no, I mean, no, it's definitely levels. I to mean, ops. like your main ops. Okay, look, I'm gonna keep it G. I have I have family from yeah my that's supposed to be ops. Mm-hmm. I have homies that's from ops, but there's certain levels of ops it's where lovely. it's like, oh, if it's these niggas, oh no, like mm-hmm. I'm not interviewing somebody who shot somebody that you are super close with the other fucking day or whatever no matter how good his yeah. rap career is going but if it's just some guy that you are supposed to have problems with because of where you're from or whatever then I mean no, you know, I, have, I don't think you would expect that of yeah. me either no. you know I have homies I have homies that was like that's from the other side that nigga they got my back just as much as I got they back. Like we 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 got love, a lot of love for each other and shit. But there's some niggas where it's yeah. like mm-hmm. if they even come to this motherfucker well, look. This will be my last day here because I'm plotting on how to get this motherfucker in here. Well, look, th- this is a perfect transition of one of the topics I want to talk about. Uh, academics revealing why uh, NBA Youngboy won't do a song with Lil Uzi or with uh, Lil Baby. Why is that? Because apparently because Uzi and, and Rich the Kid has problems and, and NBA Youngboy and Rich the Kid are actually apparently really cool. They're they supposed did, to do they that. They put then. out a project yeah, that, but he was, that nobody really paid any attention he's to. He's just being on true. some super loyal shit like, nah, I can't do it. But, like, but, uh, but that's, that's I commend that. But that's not that deep. But like also, like I mean, they did chase... 
rich the kid into a starbucks and he jumped over a counter and they tried to pack him out but so. it's funny imagining any other rapper thinking that rich the kid is actually like their bro <laughs> on such a level it's that like you wouldn't do a song with uzi and, and i fuck with rich the kid i think rich the kid yeah. is a cool dude and a smart ass businessman but Hell also yeah. like when i see rich the kid hanging out with a rapper i'm not like oh that's his his that's blood his, brother for yeah. life he'll kill that's somebody for him for rich him. the kid is a is a genius when it comes to linking with the new hot rappers and, and doing songs with them but but the fact that young boy really don't fuck with nobody yeah, and yeah. to do a whole project at Rich the Kid means that they have like a them. fucking brotherhood that like true, yeah. young boy don't really fuck with nobody in the industry mm. so that's probably is his boy like that and then there's certain lines that gotta be drawn too it's, it's just like even like right now like mm. there's certain motherfuckers that y'all don't like that yeah. if mm. I did a song with these niggas y'all oh, be like AD, AD I fucking hate you AD I love you but that would be the day that's what I'm to, saying square up, bro. <laughs> that's what, you see what I'm saying I would let you know I don't think it's a good career move in general no <laughs> <laughs> you would be pissed the fuck off I would you will make a whole nother he, thread against me. This bitch ass AD didn't did this. But he made a thread about you? No, I said he will make a separate thread than uh, a thread that me, oh, you, and him got. Oh, yeah, I remove you from the group chat. That's just me, you, and House Phone. So it's just me and House Phone. Like, I could have I could have not removed you and just texted him. But, I, but, bro, I find it fucking amazing, though. Like, you guys share a common enemy. Yeah, right. That I don't know nothing to fucking I know, about. I know. Yeah, but. But you, off the strip <laughs> now, it's just like, like if I see them, I'll be like. Like, hey guys, dude. what you want me to do? No, but you want to know what's funny about that specific situation is that Lil Bruh does a fucking video interview and they ask him about me in it. <laughs> and he's all Mr. Fucking, he barely says anything bad about me. And it's like, I'm not going to like, was that, you think I'm just going to like forget about all that shit you were talking? But you know like, he's a nigga like that. Like, but the whole thing about it too, though, is that it's like, I'm not going to cool shit. I'm not going to like make shit cool. Like if, yeah. if it was somebody who's really like relevant in the game or really your homie and you talk shit yeah or really my homie and you talk shit and then you try to be cool after then it's like all right maybe we can be cool this is not that this is like you're like you're like one percent of me he like, tried you're not do- you're not anywhere near what i'm doing listen, listen, but i've been i've been in situations before where somebody was extremely mad at me and i did not fucking know it so yeah. do, do this guy knows that you guys like oh yeah okay bro, well that's different bro, the time when i got into it with him at your birthday party the next time i saw him at the store on melrose he just tried to act like everything was all cool he tried to dab me up i was like nigga that's what, what? bitch ass pussies do <laughs> i mean let's be real like that's what you would do if you were that's a, a bitch ass pussy as you would talk tough on the internet and i ain't gonna cool. I, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie though when i first <laughs> Cause when I first came around, no jumper, mm. and when the nigga was dissing everybody in the office, mm. I was like, "If I'm this nigga, lie. this oh, is me, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going." <laughs> I was, hey, did they, Adam and Josh know. I said, "Let me tell y'all right now, if this nigga disses me, I'm going to never mind. I'm going to leave it alone." Let's just talk about the fact though that you had to, <laughs> you <laughs> had to hide. <laughs> He had to hide the fact that he really liked a song about yeah, a did. woman who worked here, <laughs> like and him. he liked it way too much. And he had to like, Listen. he had to lie about the fact I, that he liked it so much. I did, Listen, I did, I did. I'm gonna be honest with you. That nigga is the, the 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 homie of the op is very very catchy with music. Bro, so I can't I can't hold you. It was some of them were funny. He, he Let got me tell bars you, on like the nigga, op number one. The yeah. nigga is the the nigga the is number talented. one op has no bars, but the other nigga. It was kind of funny. Listen, I can't girl. hold you. I Listen, can't even girl. hold you. It was I, funny. I, 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 I see myself going to a SoundCloud a couple times. Oh, I'm nah. like, <laughs> yo, AD is on op time. He's one of the only rappers that I've actually spent time on their SoundCloud. But but yeah, we like me and you wasn't as cool yet. All right, you were still on. You were still on like the verge. Just like on the oh, I like him, but like I don't know if, if he does you. something. <laughs> Then he can be like you can, he could be on upside easily. House phone can definitely be on upside. So now I couldn't do that shit. Now I'm, I'm like this is my brother now. So it's like I right, I can't do that. But hey, you was like you know half and half. I you you want to know that. the weirdest crossover that I've seen on YouTube? Mm. Almighty suspect going to ABG Neil's block yeah. and doing a video with him. And then they're doing, and like they're the, doing the Macarena. <laughs> what? Bro, that song was hard though. It was all right. But Wait, he just... got beef with him or something? No, no, they no, just, no, no, it's just weird as fuck to see them two together because it's like the most New York rapper and then a total, total West Coast rapper. And they're together on ABG Neil's block. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, ABG Neil is doing the Macarena. Macar- well, it's called, it's called the Sus Shuffle. Mm. Shout out to Suspect. He was kind of going crazy on that song. I These kids don't even know I, about I need, the Macarena. I need, yeah. to, I need to hear it. But that's why it's that's why it's so easy to go viral and do shit like that because you could just read, do some old shit and niggas won't even know. We bring the we bring the butterfly back. What's the butterfly? Remember the. Oh, let's go. Mm, mm, mm. What the fuck is that? You like, <laughs> nah, it's like look at you're like giving birth. <laughs> I can't really do it. Your ankle under the table. <laughs> 
hands what up on fuck? my hip. What the when fuck I is dip, that? You dip, we dip. Yeah, oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, kind of. Yes, the dip. Listen, you do the dip. No, Slide I don't know the to move. the left. <laughs> Slide to the right. <laughs> yes. Crisscross. <laughs> Crisscross. <laughs> we got to get Adam doing yeah, some that's shit what I'm saying. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, let's all us. We'll do a video shirtless where we do a dance for TikTok. Wait, let me get my... Not if it's like what you did for, for Sada Baby's boy, merch. No, no. no. it's not what you did for Sada Baby's merch. You came out with much? the red drawers and all that. that I'm, I'm not with that, bro. Who, like fil- that? who filmed that video? Josh. Josh, probably. <laughs> Sada Baby was here the other day eating a, eating a donut. He was eating one of Yuri's leftover donuts. Hey, I was laughing at the news this morning. Those ones I left here like the nigga was Because the nigga was laughing. <laughs> the way Sada was laughing was fucking amazing. Really? Yeah, I like this. I like he the was, news. He was a different... Like, he had just rolled out of bed when he did the news, I think. Because he was not like high energy Sada. For the most part, I used to roll out a bit. He came in here, and him and his homie, like, I love the extent to which it seems like a real emergency that they start smoking weed as soon as they get here. Like, yeah. it is like everybody involved is just on the fucking project. Josh, don't look like right that. Away. Yeah, I'm about to go. Yeah, don't you hate John John Wick. out there like we're yeah. going to have to kill somebody? <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm finna, I'm finna head for the back door. Pause. I do not even have my blammy near me, so I'm going to be fucking putting it together like a musket and shit, oh fucking shoving God. some gunpowder in there. You really you really <laughs> follow that rule? You keep everything separated and all that shit? <sighs> yes, allegedly. It doesn't seem urgent enough to have to have it assembled. Like, Bro, what are the, you fucking crazy? I'm just like, keep them right the, next to each other. Pow. <laughs> okay. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Fuck <laughs> bagel. <laughs> You gotta have one in the head ready to go. Ah oh, man, that's a, that's a, that's a weird life to live. No, because I gotta get one of them things that holds it all in place, yeah. and then you can just pull. I also feel like you're just so goofy and clumsy. You might like shoot someone on accident. Everybody, I ends think up you're shooting. a pop Yuri, bro. There's yeah, so what if many he shot. What if you dropped so a many and shot rappers? Yuri. Almost I wouldn't died tell. from getting shot by accident with rappers who are just linked out of huh. their mind playing with guns. For sure, yeah. it's normal Th- shit. And that- but you'll never find out because people don't like to admit it. But I don't. I don't suggest anybody play with fucking guns. They're not a mm-hmm. fucking toy. It's really not. But you let your kid play with guns, right? No, not at all. He's two. My son would. <laughs> my kid my kid know how to lo- load the strap. He a smart fuck. Let him leave with the strap. He shot the park up. Ooh. Who said that? Rio. I like that. We never found out anything about Uzi and Filthy and what the fuck that was all about. I know, right? Um, who who does Filthy do production for? Like, what, what do you have to do to get beats from now. Filthy? You got to just like. I know, right? He kind of like. He kind of like. He built the working on dying team together. Kind of let them like Oogie, Oogie Mane and uh, and Brandon Finessen. He kind of let them like take the uh, like the majority of the work. I feel like and like like, like you know like he, he like put them in the spotlight. I feel like he wasn't making beats for a long time because it was a point. <laughs> it was a point where like. All the working on dying beats were not by Filthy, I feel like, for like mm-hmm. a little minute. And then I feel like he just came back in his producer bag and just jumped in and just was going crazy with the Uzi shit, with the Cardi shit. I heard some unreleased Yachty that... Um, Give me my fucking props that I have a Filthy interview from like fucking eight years ago. You got to get, get the second one in, man. Let's go. You know? Give me some beats. So I'm going to put my artist AD on it. <laughs> Your art. Hey. No AD, trouble records. AD might get off on a, on a Filthy beat. No, wait. I can't believe we... Skimmed past bringing up Rich the Kid's name and not talk about the fact that he got arrested at LAX with the cops bring, syrup merch on for bringing a gun I to re- the airport. I respect it, man. With the cough syrup merch on, Every at least rapper this does nigga. This. Yeah, that happens a lot. But T-Pain, at least this nigga is Joel fucking Santana. ready, bro. Strapped the food. a little too ready if you're at the airport Hell with not. it. Check you know what that you know what that means. It's like man, Niggas I'm turned up. I, I'm on a move. I forgot I had my it's shit. Not but at a least good he's sign ready. If your gun is so, it's just in some random luggage and you yeah. haven't touched it in six months and everything like that. That's not a good sign. Yeah, that don't mean that. Keep track of where your guns are because That's that gun could have got stolen. Somebody could have been doing some crazy ass shit with it. Yeah, and instead. It's just like I'm, in a bag that he just I've got to it too faded airport. before and lost a gun and found it why, later. Why did he have to be faded? Like it's a good thing. You know who else <laughs> did that? He's hyped on it. Like it's no big deal. You know who else did that? <laughs> Strapped a fool from Travis Porter. Awesome. Did he? Yeah. He, he got caught with the glizzy at the airport. At the airport. And T-Pain too. And there's a bunch of other ones. A, yeah, we can literally sit here I, for like I, an I hour. I forget. There was more, but there was like one year with where like four rappers mm-hmm. all got arrested. Joel for did some. Did a, did a long time for that too. Joel attempted to flee the airport. And then, <laughs> I would have did the same shit. <laughs> I would have too. And then I'm he did here. like two years for it and now he's out. But I mean, God, that must have been a dark two years sitting in jail just because you forgot to take something out of your bag. Yeah. Oh man. Was but you know it's you New off? York because their gun laws are like it's crazy. Extreme. Oh, he was in New York with it. Oh, it's yeah. a rap. It's stream. Oh, it's a rap. No, I didn't know Jules until. Oh yeah, but he is from New York, but I didn't know he was there when he got caught with the blammy at the airport. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Oh, he's tripping. Dip set. Dip set. Dip so set. can we just talk about how that might have been like 
the best accidental promotion for Desto Dub. Pretty much. It's pretty good. I'll throw it up in the in next to the Gucci Gang video where his shit was blurred because he didn't have his ID. <laughs> Isn't that the craziest story ever? So Dub goes to the I don't Gu- know the story. Dub goes to the you. Gucci Gang video shoot with Pump because they're together every fucking day it's at that homie. point. Mm-hmm. And then when he's supposed to be in the video, they ask him for his ID so that he can sign off on the release form for the awful lot of coughs are at merch and he doesn't have an ID on him because Dub is truly of the streets, never has an ID. And so... he got His face card good. He don't need no ID. That video, Fact. I think, might have a billion views or close to a billion views and his sweatshirt is blurred out, which is... But think about how much wow. money he's made Lo- since then. Though. Yeah, he's he's totally made up for it since then. But that is pretty hilarious, just that he was like missed out on the that. marketing opportunity of that. But now look at him. It's like Nick is bro. He's getting free TMZ post mm-hmm. just because Rich the Kid decided to do something stupid wearing his uh, shirt, his yeah. jacket. And you know what's funny is I, I have a vlog that I just edited that I'm about to put out. And in the vlog, I remembered like that I had this footage from like two months ago of us riding BMX downtown, and we we stop in to see Dub and Ralphie the Plug is doing whippets in the fucking parking lot and stuff. And I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking like leaning a walk doing whippets. I'm like, bro, that's pretty crazy. That's like two months ago, and Dub has elevated from like it seems like ancient history that he was in the van in the parking lot every day, and now he's yeah, got I'm, a store I'm on Melrose. I've never been in the parking. He lot. He just did a collab mm-hmm. with Thug and him, the YSL, the YSL well, shit. Dub has no going. jumper collab on the way. Another one. Really? Dub has been going fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. When he's a dude, that's an awful lot of high rollers. I'm gonna be honest Ooh. with you. Wait, him and Anwar Carrots, that's an awful lot of carrots. I like the, co- I like the collab, Twitter. too. Who, Anwar Carrots? Yes. Much like you're blocked from everyone on Twitter, mm. for some reason I'm blocked by you him. Know, you know Joe Budden had me blocked on my first Twitter? Why? Wow. Because remember when him, when him and Lil B were beefing? Oh, my God. I used God. to tweet him the lyrics to T-shirts and buttons every day. Wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. Because, you know, I heard Joe Budden say that Lil B is the only <laughs> dude to ever beat him in a battle. Exactly, but do you think that Joe Budden really thinks that Lil B beat him in a battle? I would you know love why? to hear Joe Budden have explain you heard, why. Have you heard that song? I do. I remember from back Bro, in the day. He was a like, grown man with a full ass <laughs> beard or some shit. He said <laughs> he was. He was like calling him a Molly fiend. Like he was really <laughs> taking like deep personal digs at him right it was and the beat was fire Lil B is one of the greatest of all time bro, bro thank you. shout that, out to the bass god but that might have been like bass god joe budden having the realization that he could lose a battle against somebody who he's clearly a better technical rapper than mm-hmm. but someone who just had more personality and wit and charm and, 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 and didn't take it as serious yeah and, and had his weird fans like me tweeting tweeting him the lyrics every day but humor joe, will joe always win bro have a song where he, where he, mm. uh, against i don't think so no and he probably knew that it wouldn't have necessarily been a great idea. But that would have been crazy if there was a Joe Budden little B-Diss. I'll be playing that at every What function. would he say? Yeah, like, what would he like? But imagine he you really weird, did. You, you weird <laughs> internet nigga. You got beat up in the library. <laughs> but that's the thing. I think Joe Budden is, is so talented when it comes to rapping that he wouldn't know what the fuck to, to say he to Little B. He literally wouldn't know. What, what could he say to Little B as it is? That's the fucked up thing. Yeah, because Joe Budden doing a song where he just told Little B that he was a whack rapper would just be like the like, least appetizing thing yeah. on earth. And also, it's it's like, if you're Joe Budden, you've lived through an era in which when you're a kid, it's all about being a fire rapper. And mm. you've lived for so long that you've seen it get to the point where that matters like very little. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah. And that has like, you got to think like when you're a dude who like that is your skill set at a certain point and then all of a sudden your skill set is kind of like not appreciated by the market. Like the same way with all them DJs who could scratch records and spin behind their back and all that kind of shit. And at one point that made you the king of rap music. Yeah, yeah, now all you have, then and, and, then, you know. it, then it transforms to you just got to have a cool ass DJ tag and just drop that bitch a million times on every song. I was having this conversation with someone the other day because they're trying to tell me about how great Marshmallow is. And I'll be DJ. like, and I'm like, honestly, I never heard him. Like, is but he, like, I'm like, he's a producer DJ guy, right? Or whatever. What I mean. Marshmallow could, shit is tight, though. They could not believe that I did not know anything about Marshmallow. And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, I've never given a fuck about, about you, any DJ or a person who made music that did not have words. I mean, yeah. you're a hip hop analyst, you only listen to hip hop and anal cunt. That's real. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, people see your skin and say, he, he has like, to know what? who fucking Afrojack is and all these other people. I only know who Afrojack is because one time I, was, I had this random ass girl on the podcast and the, the comments start saying, ask her about fucking Afrojack or I seen her on stage with Afrojack, rah, rah, rah. And I guess he had a girlfriend and shit. And the, oh, girl, the girl starts getting mad, nervous and fidgety because she was, she's basically having an affair that she's having exposed, exposed. through the chat. 
Damn. I don't know if anybody ever found out. Yeah, yeah they're old. I got, they, they know now. <laughs> I got three fucking records of Afrojack that never came out. Huh? And at the time, who, who is that? I have no idea. Bro, I didn't at the time I didn't really? know how big Afrojack was. You know who you know I still don't. You know who, Oh, uh, he's huge. You know Pause. who uh Brodinski is? No. I, got I know Brodinski. I got hella songs with Brodinski. Bro, you really? Yeah. I did a Shout song. out to my nigga Brodinski. I gotta go to Paris and shoot the videos though. You heard of Datsik before? Yeah, yeah. I did a whole fucking thing and video with him and all that shit. Listen, man, AD is fucking well rounded, bro. Pause. I've heard of him. Pause. That's sick, but I don't uh-huh. really know anything about him. I just remember when uh, Brodinski was just doing all these like super uh, hood, hood rich Pablo Juan records oh, and everything. But, I live in the Matrix. And and there were ones that I thought were tight, but then there was like a lot of it. That there were like there were a couple. Stop! You there, do not know. This is a temporary uh, model sample, and it could yeah. break. So I have to find a way to assault you. You can without you liking it. Pause. You gave whoa, me. You whoa, choked whoa, me whoa, out whoa, the whoa. other day. Wait, no, I did baby not. boy. Yes, he did. Yo, what? He threw me in the, the Tyrese choke. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> wait. I do want to say that you're right. There was a lot of like when you mesh like the rapping EDM shit. Some of it is just it don't be hidden. It's like because mm. this same person who's trying to tell me about Marshmallow, they're like, he's like, I cannot believe that you don't know about him. You know so much about rap music. I'm like, I, like, I, I don't the- know if anybody has ever <laughs> talked about Marshmallow in rap music. And then he goes, he has a song with Lil Peep. I'm, and this is like a poker dude. It's tough. It's tough. And I'm like. I'm like, I remember when that song came out and like the little peep fans were, we're not, not happy, happy about yeah. that at all. And I said hip hop collectively, whenever the rappers that we like dip into EDM, we all collectively have agreed to just not pay attention at all. Yeah. He did so. two fire ones. He did one with Roddy that was fire. Wait, what song and, did and he do? did the one with S O B that was fire. For real? Really? Yeah, he did an S O B song? And and, and and Roddy Rich, bro. And they both was fire. I know fire. for sure he did a Roddy Rich song, but which one was yeah, it? Was that's it high the, fashion? Uh, no, no, that was no, DJ no, Mustard. No, no. That was Mustard. It's the um What if there's a chance that I'm gonna go like watch something about uh, about right Marshmallow and just like learn a lot about him and have a bunch of respect for him because I remember I was clowning on like for some reason we had a conversation about Cause and I was super ignorant. Yeah, and you then fucking... I've watched a ton of shit about him ever yeah, since yeah. then. So yeah, yeah, you. My yeah. nigga, Marshmallow was in Fortnite. And that that doesn't really amazing. mean a lot to me. I'm gonna be. It does to me. No, it does he had a whole good. fucking. He was one of the first. He had a whole Fortnite fucking concert, yeah, bro. He, had a whole he Fortnite kicked concert. all that shit off of musicians to be in Fortnite, bro. That's a fact. This, Travis, is Travis my, Scott had the biggest one though. But I like how nowadays this is how much the world has changed. That oh, now, classic one, Project I'll Dreams. Saying, I'll be saying that I don't like a rapper or I don't that. know about an artist for real. And that you, ice me. And the argument that I should like them will be like they had a Fortnite concert, and it's like. No, okay, no, no. Well, but I it's don't. Not, I wouldn't go to their concert in the first place, and I definitely wouldn't go to their <laughs> Fortnite concert as a non-Fortnite. But player. I went, it's, and it was. It's amazing. not about that. It's about the fact that like the the two artists that did that shit, the biggest. It was like they broke world records for like mm-hmm. streaming. Right. I'm just saying that's like, not really an argument for why I should. Listen yes, it to their is. Music. That means that, that means that so many people are so in tune with this, and it was such because a because they are the most accepted by the corporate world that uses these. People as as pawns but to you, make their brand cooler means that I should like their music. No, this no, 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 no. This is like not it. how the world works, in my opinion. From no, no, my no. perspective, a lot of the best rap of all mm. time is rap that is not commercially successful and that nobody really gives a fuck about, and that is very, very important. Okay. So I'm not going to let wait. anybody sit here so and I'm tell point, me that okay, a rapper let me point being very successful is a reason why I okay, should like them. But you That's say, wait, wait, you say that now, but you have totally drifted away from your core, which is with you starting to find up and coming talent, and now you just kind of regurgitate the same. I just. Man, you see shit. Mac the Loki has 20,000 followers. That has followers. nothing to do with rap music. He's a gangbanger that just makes terrible music. That is, Whoa! He does well, not okay. make real music. Okay. I did not interview him because of his music. That That's is a fair saying. point. But That's I interview people all the time who are like, who? Not, I don't know, go to the No Jump. Please do not disrespect the Loki. No, I'm just saying like, you're hey. right that my standard of where a rapper it, needs to yeah. be to get an interview is certainly higher, but a big part of that is the fact that an interview doesn't really do anything for That's you when fact. you're at an early early That's stage of your career but i can say this one thing that that no jumper is like does off the wall fucking shit you know what i'm saying so nobody else would do a fucking c-mac interview or a milk yeah. interview but or I'm a saying, lot of motherfuckers bro look, I, i'm just saying and that's I what think, makes the platform unique but once again i look, wasn't around back look, then so, look, huh? look, look that's what i'm saying i i just i just want i just like there's so many up and coming rappers that are like doing the numbers and like just so fire that i just wish that I could help you tap in with that shit a little more. Let's Nigga, do why don't you so do a, why don't you do a shit. fucking show where you do that shit, bro? Anyone can send me a rapper that they think I should interview and it's quite often well oh, yeah, received. No. I do it all the time. He yeah, asked me all the time about artists though. He'd be like, "Should I do this?" I'd be like, "Yeah." Yeah. Cuz like for instance, like I had 
I felt like I was late on, I should have been oh. earlier on interviewing a lot of the Brooklyn Drill guys who were uh -huh. up and coming. I should have been earlier on a lot of the Detroit and, and, and Flint shit that was coming up. The house I, put, no, put no, that, that is still tried, some though. of our most popular I really, shit. I tried. For, okay, but from the overall person's perspective, like I think that we got like the RMC Mike oh, yeah, interview yeah. Yeah, at, the, yeah. at the right time. The right like time. if it had been six months earlier, you're right, you're right. it would have been dope. It would have made me look like I really fucking yeah. knew what was going on. You're right, but you're right. I also like... You know, getting shit too early, man. And it, you, uh, getting it too early don't help them, bro. Yeah, it really doesn't. Unless you're a character. If you're ridiculous, yeah. then it can help. Like six nine, mm. he had like two songs at the time that we did that interview. He but had two he, songs. He had like very little popular music. It was those weird ones where they it's were crazy because like I didn't even them. know you did an interview with him. Really? So oh, long yeah, ago. It was his first interview, and that was that that. But that was like a good example of he didn't have that much music out but he was such a ridiculous character and people wanted to find out about him that it helped him a ton before yeah. he really even had much music out why don't you do a fucking Thursday show or something like that where you help out upcoming artists bro I mean they, they got the they got the No Jumper blog already don't you like, nigga just blog. say you want to do it I don't really want to do that though. <laughs> so you, want, you. you want Adam to do it? You don't want to do no, it. I'm just saying, like <laughs> the hardest people to do good interviews with are the brand new rappers who yeah, don't have shit to talk about unless. They have something to talk about. Like when I interviewed yeah. X, like X had like, you know, the a couple songs stories, that were yeah. popular, but he was so entertaining. But that a lot of people don't realize that, that you need to like be really good musically and you need to have an interesting personality. Of, it's very artists, rare that you're going to just be a, 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 a person who is fire musically and doesn't, isn't a captivating character. You know? A lot of artists, period, don't have good personality. Oh, yeah, right? for it's sure. a huge problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. There, there was a rapper like semi recently where. I was having a conversation with somebody about hypothetically signing them, mm. and then we put on an interview with them, and it took me two minutes to be like, "Never mind." Like, it's not, it's <laughs> oh, not, you put on another interview so that them? somebody else did with them, and I was just like, "This is like, this is like the least desirable character that I can imagine for people." It's just it's so dry and it's so boring that there's no way that people would fuck with it. Whereas on the other hand, mm. nowadays we have Kodak Black who's on the outside <laughs> and he's just every day doing something entertaining. Yeah. It's really like a throwback to the days of mm. when 6 9 and X and Trippy were like tearing up the internet every day. Yeah, every that was a great era. It was fun. Yeah, man. I, I, I feel like it's really starting to get back to more of the music. Mm. And I feel like a lot of like a lot of the kids that are coming up in this shit right now, I feel like they're they're more like playing it smooth and being like mysterious, like Playboy Cardi and shit like that. Where they're like, oh, like I'm going to be honest, for, former No Jumper employee has been killing it with the interviews lately, getting a lot of who? don't don't. I'm not. I'm not. not but I'm just saying oh. I'm saying he's been killing it. Those mm. are the niggas that you need to be interviewing. I'm, you know, do I know the nigga? I wish we weren't live so no. I could edit that out. But please, <laughs> I'm sorry, get I'm that sorry. out of here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying though. No, no. I meant, I meant like those artists, like the SSG Kobe's, the yeah, Sofagos, there's, there's, and there's, shit there's, like that. Those kids, you got to be paying attention to. Those are the niggas paying that attention are, for sure. But I, I am very, very thoughtful about when, when I interview rappers, and I, I think there's, a, there's a lane for people that do interviews with rappers yeah. too early, yeah. and you know, like it is DJ, what it is. Like, like DJ Small Eyes type beat. Yeah, but that you know what's different now. Small eyes of videos is fire, bro. I don't know if you've actually like paid attention <laughs> to the you? things that he says in his interviews. <laughs> Some but, of them are crazy. You know, and, and shout out to him because he he yeah. definitely puts in work. Yeah, for sure. But when I see a video and it's a half hour long and it's called so and so talks about what high school she went to, and I'm just like, are you fucking <laughs> oh, kidding seen me? That. But when I watch this shit though, I I feel like I get something. I feel like I get something different from a, from like every platform. How about this? It's like yeah. So have you ever thought about getting plastic yeah, stop, surgery? Stop, 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 stop. Would you get a B cup? Would you get a C cup? And they'll be like, oh, I thought about it, but um <laughs> <laughs> his shit, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen like a rate card for his shit in the past of like you can pay this amount. And hold mm. that thought because I do want to send a massive, massive shout out to our Kush sponsor for this episode. Boys and girls, let's get some fucking Kush going. You guys got to smoke some of this. Leave my fucking figurine alone. Don't let AD. If, if you I, break that, you know how mad I'm going to be? If you let AD smoke the weed, he's literally going to like sexually No, 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 no. You are not allowed kid. to smoke weed here anymore. I'm not this, smoking. This yeah. is like your PO's office. Like you just are not allowed to smoke <laughs> weed here. Like this is just Only, it's not only Fridays. Vladim. Yeah. Vladim. I don't 22. want to anymore, bro. I turned to fucking marshmallow brain, bro. Yeah. Well, anyway, if you want to really turn to marshmallow brain, head on over and check out Stooge Life. It can be actually delivered to you. If you head on over to Zaylor LA, which is actually spelled X A L E R L A 
A.com and make sure you use the code no jumper for 20% off all Stooge Life products. They have pre rolls, shatter, wax, diamonds, okay. batter, moon rocks, and of course, the most fire Kush. And I have honestly been smoking this weed pretty much exclusively for really? the past uh, couple weeks. And Do let they, me tell you, it's better than the booth I was smoking before that. Can Do I they take have this? A store? Yes. Do they have a store? Do they have a store? I'm no, but they have a big on. ass factory downtown that we went to. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to oh, Stu's life, man. What I'm really terrified is this fucking moon rock that is just yeah. covered with like crystallized THC. Josh, Josh and Yuri said it was THC eight, which is like what eight levels higher. Than oh, that's the, fucked up. If, you, if you're so into smoking weed that you know about different levels of THC, then you are officially yeah. a tweaker. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. What were we talking about? Shout out Stooge Life again. Like this, honestly, they've just been hooking us up with Hella Weed and we're big, big fans. We're talking about DJ Small Eyes. Oh, and his, right. Uh, no, but style. you know who's the new player in the game mm. is Dirty Glove Bastard, which mm. back I love Dirty Glove Bastard. But back in the day, Dirty Glove ba Bastard was always like a blog that I fucked yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. And, they, and I thought that they were dope because they did more like street music as opposed to a lot of the blogs were kind of on some fruity shit. And <laughs> I actually met some of the Dirty Glove Bastard dudes in Atlanta with Shoreline and they're cool and stuff. But now they got. Like, I feel like they've de defined themselves as like, oh, you're in Atlanta and you got anything going on? Like, we'll That's fine. we'll interview you. And they got like a lot of, like, they got OMB Peasy as soon as he got mm. arrested. They got like, literally the day after he gets arrested for shooting up a video shoot, which apparently he didn't do. Because Allegedly. Yeah. If, he went Allegedly. And, if he went and did this interview you would think that that's probably not something that a guilty person would do but <laughs> right they they have been getting a lot of good shit and that's what i like seeing is i like seeing people do youtube channels in areas that are not really like that yeah. documented you know because like if you if, if you're in seattle and you could like do the interviews with the rappers that are popping off out of there that's like so much better than going to la and just being like the fucking 18th why most don't, interesting interviewer in la why don't people like real like um, I'm not gonna say his name, but uh, this other kid that that we had this shit with in the past from Boston, he was like, "Tell like, yo, should I move to L.A. and da da da?" And I'm like, "No, stay in Boston, right. curate that scene, be the guy out there. Like, you don't need like everyone wants to come to L.A. and just think they're gonna like take over and do the same thing that a hundred motherfuckers are already doing, right? Because if you want to come to L.A. and do content and like really compete with everybody else who's doing content, you need to like sit back and take a look at the the landscape of all the different options. And to be honest with you. The options for people to go do interviews are way wider now. Like, because you could go do fucking drink champs. Drink champs has been mm -hmm. killing it. Yeah. Drink you, champs killing the it. The shit with DJ Scream and all them. Mm -hmm. and, and yo, that shit is killing it. Like, they get they get big ass guests because now you have like actual rappers who are like in the streets and they want to do an interview and they feel like they can go do an interview with somebody who like really is like from their culture and speaks their language. That makes the shit way more competitive because now i'm looking at it like oh i really got to kill it with interviews because i am not from the same exact cloth that these dudes are from so mm -hmm. i want to like really like you know yeah. as, as a person doing interviews it's kind of like being a rapper where you yeah. are going to be judged against your competition all the time nigga shout but, out to gillian wallow now wait, wait, exactly them it. too they, listen, they've been killing it listen, my guys. you got you to think about it like this though it's like even if you interview the same person even even if you kind of ask them like similar questions it's like people go to different shit mm. for different reasons and it's like you know me watching adam 22 interview this person versus uh, you know like watching someone else interview is just going to be different and that sometimes some of those people do interviews that are very much like let's chill and talk about whatever and that is easy to compete with because if you just are doing that and that's where i think that we Strive are able to stand out a bit is that it's like i watched kamaya on dj vlad and i almost didn't know if i actually wanted to interview after that because he did such a good job asking about all the most dramatic shit in her life that you could ask about like mm. shooting the gun in the movie theater what was that Allegedly. about wow. yg <laughs> what is that all about fucking your beef with kalani like what's that all about but then i was like you know what I'm going to write some notes of like questions or shit that's just chill. We can just vibe out. We can smoke if you want. She doesn't smoke. But like, I try to make my shit like a, a, a fun, laid back, that's stone sometimes podcast. That's, uh, that's honestly too like, I don't mind having guests on my show that be on your show because I feel like it's two different dynamics. When you come to Adam and then you come fuck mm. with AD. Right, because you're going to make him take eight shots and then scream <laughs> about being a nomad. <laughs> I'm a nomad! I am a nomad! I'm not a nomad no more. And then Bully Yassi. Every time I listen to the Kodak and Yachty song. We're going to have to get out, kid. Uh, for real. Every time I listen to the Kodak and Yachty song, I hear, <laughs> I hear Yachty say, I'm a nomad real quick. And then like I just think about the fact that you 
made that into your whole brand for like a week. I find it funny too. It's, it's funny because hey, Yaz be, oh, yeah, be telling me about her fucking adventures and shit. And, just, Yo. and always she tells me, like, if AD was here, he would probably fuck this person up for her. Yeah, she needs to watch Baby Boy right? because she's kind of like a, a baby you never boy seen type baby existence. Boy? Oh, okay. No. You are Tyrese. No, she's the baby mama. Is for it sure. just me or did Tyrese never have a leading role in another hood movie? Because I'm gonna be honest, he's way too Waste pretty. Deep. He's way too pretty to be Waste the lead deep. character. Waste in that deep, movie. nigga. Don't you? <laughs> Fast do you agree with me that like he? Fast and Furious is a hood movie. I'm, I'm and, and too fast, too furious. But Roman Pierce, do you agree on, with man. me that he's not the ideal lead for this movie? Why? Yes, he is. Yes, what he are you is. talking about? Well, who else? Who else would play? Who else? Who else would play Jody, bro? The idea that there might not be a ton of other great options, I'm open to that. I'm just I was saying, about back then at that time. That I don't movie came out like 2001. Adam, Adam didn't even know. Look, look. This is Adam. wait a minute. Let me tell you something. This is I the, didn't love him. In wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? This he is your problem, bro. Job. You wait 20 years after these fucking <laughs> movies come out to analyze it because you said the same shit about poetic justice. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're yeah, probably yeah. gonna watch the wood and be like. Yeah, hmm, that maybe came out, maybe YG it? should could have started in the wood. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, YG nigga. Have been at, wait a minute. At the fucking time, bro, and at the fucking time in these movies, bro, yes, bro it was important and the roles were Hell nailed yeah. perfectly. You can't compare today's cinema Thank to you. the old shit. Like, Boys in the Hood is classic. You cannot recreate but Boys in the Hood. Of course, I can talk about how the movie is aged, and yes, my perspective might not be as on point as it would have been if I was talking about the movie the week it came but bro, out. The fucking Super Mario Brothers movie. As a kid, I thought that was the greatest movie of all time. Time. I watched that shit a Recently. year ago. I said, this movie sucks. This is trash. What made me even like this fucking movie? Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, at so. the time is how when it came out, how yeah. it made you feel. And at that time in the culture and shit. You know what I mean? And you gotta think about it like 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 we were young and that was like that was like the movie. My nigga, that I used to the watch shit. this shit all fucking day. I'm like, shit why would my TV? parents put this shit on for me? Like <laughs> shit, this shit is fucking retarded. Bro, the shit used to be on TV 24-7 anytime you were on. BT, We TV, but bro, a lot of eight. movies did not age well, bro. <laughs> they oh, yeah, did yeah. not. With the, the the Ace Ventura pet detective shit, where where the girl ends up having a dick and he ends up <laughs> running out of the the village, like oh, screaming and fucking like, freaking bro. out. That, that I, that's different now. Yeah, yeah. He, Pepe, you know, Pepe Le Pew was stealing movies. I you love are a Pepe Le Pew type guy. No, you're a Pepe Le Pew type <laughs> no, guy. Yeah, I gotta relax. It is what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what I loved? You know what I loved? I loved all the American Pie and then the American Pie adjacent movies. Like I didn't you, like the American Pie no, adjacent no, movies. No, I love no. the, 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 the original the no. canon American Bro, Pies. The one where they went to the camp, that shit was fire. That was good. That, that was, was good though. Fire. Dude, I remember I was uh, with this BMX dude. I was staying at his house in Florida and we went to Blockbuster. The year is about mm. uh, 2003. Mm. We go to Blockbuster because we're bored as fuck and like, we're like, all right, we're, we're, we're going to get movies so we can watch the movie. And With no hoes. And no hoes, which just is very important to remember. We had no bitches and <laughs> meth and jack shit, and just meth and jerking off. No, <laughs> anyway. So then we go. He gets American Pie three, which is I think American Pie two had some validity, but American Pie three was really trash. Or like it might nobody, have been American no, Pie no, no, no. Like nobody cares. That's not the wedding one, is it? I don't know. American mm. wedding. He mm. might have. He. I think he got one that was like direct to to Blockbuster. Like it was never yeah. in theaters. Either way, I. Rented a movie, like but I didn't, I, I didn't really care about watching the movie, so I just went upstairs and I'm on the computer. It's dial up, it's taking forever. I end up walking over to like go take a piss, and I look down the stairs and I see the fool straight up has his pants down around his ankles and he's jerking it what? off to the to, movie to American Pie in the blockbuster. No, at his oh, home. I thought you, <laughs> you have a sick homie, bro. Yeah, not my homie. Not no more. Yeah, that he, was he went on to win a lot of X Games medals and shit like that. But oh my god, it's like Sean. It's like fucking. It's like Sean White <laughs> or something. It's yeah. like Nigel Houston. Is it Tony Hawk? <laughs> I wish. Yo, but checking off in the basement. Wait, but I used to jerk off to a lot of random shit. No, nah, I'm gonna be honest. Like I was, I was finna admit that, but I didn't, I didn't want to. But I used to jack off to a lot of random. Oh, yeah. You ever jacked off to a Girls Gone Wild commercial? Oh, of course. Come yeah. on, I'd be trying to race that to get the nut out. While <laughs> wait, wait, commercial wait, 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 that, that, okay, that makes sense. But what yeah. an American Pie? Nah, it was some. Ti no, 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 no. I'm gonna be honest. One time I was watching Click with Adam Sandler, mm. and there was a scene what? where like he was like, got the he, like remote? he like slow moded because the girl's titties was bouncing. I had and you jerked off to the joke. About how thirsty to, for something to jerk off. He was, bro, I'm not going to, yo, this is about to get real nasty. <laughs> I had an ICP uh, VHS tape. It was like this old VHS mm -hmm. video. Uh, Who about was that? Insane Clown Posse. Clown Posse. Oh. And uh, I was, I think, you know, 13. And there was like a scene where a girl was like showing her boobs and shaking her boobs around on the tour bus. You're like, yeah. And I had to ignore the, the violent 
painted clowns right there, and I had to beat my little pud to these nipples that I was seeing in this VHS tape. Remember when like Snoop Dogg had his, his like doggy style mm. DVDs, and it was but like you got one? No, I didn't have. I've seen those, bro. Those crazy. Just jack off to the infomercials. But oh yeah, but I feel like don't you feel like when you when you think about your life, do you feel like you didn't understand how sick LA was that you probably could have gone to like a cool swap meet and gotten like a bootleg copy of like the Nigga, Snoop Dogg porno? I mean, yeah, but it's like I, I would have been at the swap meet with my mom or like with my family. It's well, like, considering I'm care. How, how considering I, I lived right in front of the Compton swap meet, I used to be I seen a lot of shit over there. Right. I'm just like I'm just like as a child, where was I gonna dip off to like buy? Like oh no for porn sure porn DVDs and, but and, but and if you sell porn to a little kid at a swap meet it's probably not gonna probably be, illegal it's probably not but, they have it at the liquor store but you know but you know I have friends where like they're like they had stole one from their dad or something and like I steal it from them right but if I had a son to be honest I would want him to tell me like pops I need something to jerk off to let's go to the store and get a magazine especially in today's time <laughs> I mean that's what's weird about when you go when you have to like come for like a doctor's visit <laughs> come is that you're like oh what doctor like, has it made you come. The one who was examining my prostate. Oh, I haven't had that. So that I'm happened like, in what? American Pie too. They wanted to see. I'm what like, was nigga, in I've never jizz. been to the doctor, and they checked my cum. Well, listen, for the vast what? majority of my life, that was true too. And then I got old, and all of a sudden, they wanted to see what was floating around in my jizz. Because I'm like, bro, even when I got like STD checks, I just peed. I like, they didn't, they didn't check my cum. It was because they were worried about my prostate. What if you went to like Planned Parenthood and like the nurse just jacks you off until you come and then checks your cum? Like, ah, oh, yep, you got uh, chlamydia. What about the time I went to Planned Parenthood and I had scabies and the chick looked right at my dick and said, oh, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, this is your whole job. How the fuck do what you not know what it is? Fuck? I told you that shit happened with the dentist. She was like, you have such nice teeth. They're the fake, ma'am. Yes. Oh, and then you were like, the dental assistant. So you're Aaron, you you haven't fake teeth, but I'm not allowed to do it. No, you, you say it in a bad way. Mm. I asked those girls you about. Think about that. Okay, think think I about that. They loved you so much. Hey, one of them yeah. DM'd me today. I was mm. so happy. You gonna make a baby with her? I, I don't know. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Think about this. Think think about you being in the club. Think about you being in the club and like just say hypothetically you go up to a bitch like, damn, like, your ass is fat, mm. and then her homegirl pops out like, that shit fake. Mm. She just got. She just left Doctor Miami last week. Well, I am the booty See? whisperer. Be, there ain't be. no chicks with fake butts that are getting by me. I know when a butt is fake. So number one, I am a learned I'm just scholar saying, of fake asses. I'm just giving so. you a scenario where you would think that girl was a hater. You're right, but that. I just don't think teeth are like fake asses. How? Because nobody gives a fuck that he yes, has fake teeth. Yes, they do. It's enhancements. Yes, they do. All right. Well, I don't have that many homies who have had work done, as I said before. <laughs> you know Drake. <laughs> he got lipo, huh? Drake, hashtag Adam, Drake. I don't believe that shit. Adam got secret lipo too. Hashtag Adam, Adam, did not Adam get secret, secret lipo. lipo. Adam would look way better if Adam hey, had secret lipo. A doctor, give me some fucking secret lipo because I don't oh, give a love, fuck. Yes, I would love that. We could talk about hey, it. I ain't gonna lie. My, my homeboy got lipo. <laughs> this nigga, hey, this nigga hashtag now. My homie he, got lipo. Hey, hey, this nigga now, he just like shirts off all that. I'm like, damn, yeah, first, shirt first time. He a different nigga, bro. First time back in the studio after you get lipo. Yeah, I got lipo, but you're gonna respect this cripping. <laughs> <laughs> I Yo, cut, what, what about, I cut a nigga like a surgeon table. C Mac, that was another really good point in the interview when I go, Would you do a song with Blueface? I don't fuck with Cuh. He said that. Yes. <laughs> I gotta get to that. Which is like, if you uh, know LA street politics, you already knew that. So I was kind of asking a little bit of a trolley question there. You were doing that there. on purpose. Yeah. And Blueface, Adam, Blueface is gonna watch that and know exactly what I was doing. And he's probably gonna think it's funny that I was doing that. Adam just likes to walk a thin line, man. He does. My though. whole life. Like, for My real. Whole life, he gotta relax, man. I really do need to relax. I, I feel like at, at some point, it's, 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 somebody's gonna take it too seriously. So you gotta like. I just got light bulb, but you don't respect now. this cripping. Allegedly. 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 Officer. You hear that? The cops are coming around here and asking the neighbors what we do here. For real? Really? Why the fuck can't you come and ask us, you fucking weird ass cops? Why the fuck you didn't tell me until now? Why would you say that on live? And so now they're going to fucking examine oh, us. Oh, no. Okay, I can't be are, here no more. If the cops are watching this, then I mean, congrats. You're fucking losers. You need to be doing yeah. more policing. Look at AD is really worried. One time I'm I got, like, what? Why the fuck did I know about this shit? I don't think. I think they were more like probably like, oh, this place like stinks of like Kush, weed, yeah. and there's like different weird people coming in and out of it all the time yeah. and everything. We're getting a new space. It's gonna be way more high security. Yo, cops. Are no we soon? Very soon. Can this can it stay around the area? Roughly, yeah. We're not going to fucking Arizona, Palmdale. I like. <laughs> <laughs> I like driving six minutes and be able to come over here. No, can we move? You like, can know where I live at. Come, come, come Hawthorne. on. Yeah, can we move the office on Doty Block? So no, I, I, so I, I would. I would. I would no the, longer oh God. come to Doty Block. <laughs> you just did it again. What do you do? <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. Every. 
<laughs> every episode. Oh, he aired himself out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga does it every it's not, time. It's not news. Oh, he said it so my many God. times. Every fucking time, bro. <sighs> Every yeah, we should time. do we should do that so I could just roll out of bed and just be here. But okay, let me ask bro, you this. Bro, that's what makes it just beautiful for me, bro. Should I just move to Burbank? Oh my god. What the f- That's not really that secretive either. That's about <laughs> as secretive as you being from Doty Block. <laughs> I'm he goes over here and immediately starts yeah. putting lotion on his Come hands. over he's here on to, Sherman Way. He's gonna pound one out. <laughs> Sherman Way. He has to comb his brain for a street that we don't that we're not on. <laughs> now they know that we're not on Sherman. <laughs> we're on. I'm on Sherman. I'm on Sherm. I'm on Sherm, exactly. I'm on young Sherman. S- speaking of drugs, I want y'all to be proud of Can me. Can we move this week? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Don't cut me off. <laughs> speaking of drugs, y'all gotta be proud of me. This is my first time where I went out of state. And I did not hit up a bunch of random bitches. I didn't do a bunch of drugs. I did what I was supposed to do. Bought some clothes and I left. Where'd you go? To New York. For how long? Like three days. How was it? It was honestly, I, I think I want to move there. I might quit the show and just move there. What? I fucking love New York. Hey, I, New I got a hundred bloods and a hundred cribs, nigga. I'm from New, New York. York. Wait New a minute. York. Is that, I want to see C Mac do that. Is that the hat perfect that was on the white bitch ass? Allegedly. I wasn't. I didn't take that picture. I wasn't even in the room, dude. We got to get C Mac to Aww. recreate every Jaw Roll song, and no, also no, no, he needs no. to do a song on RMC Mike. His home, uh, <laughs> my home, <laughs> my lung cancer. <laughs> my homie's little brother. My homie's little brother DM me because I kept posting Jaw Roll songs when I was in New York. Uh, my homie was like, "I know Jaw Roll's son. He's about to DM you, and he's like a he's like an emo GBC rapper." Oh no, Jaw Roll's son is an emo rapper. Bro, that's my least favorite thing is when people try to get interviews off who their pops is. It's just like, bro, could you be a little bit more pathetic? I mean, Chloe the Ray did it. Anybody else could do it. She got an interview because no, of her Chloe music Ray, no, no, Her shit's dope. No, no, I didn't mean. And I, she was in Texas too at the uh, one of the spots I was at. Mm. I didn't. And now she did a song with Pooh Shiesty, so she's mm. calling herself Big Purr. <laughs> big Purr. No, Burr. Big Purr. I haven't heard her say it. Everybody <laughs> whose kid do does it. music is not like Coley Ray music is. is she is. Yeah, no, you know fire. what's weird about Coley Ray is that because she's a girl, nobody will ever hold her to the standard of like, oh, you're a bitch because you got a famous dad or whatever. Because A. That is every, true. Because A, everybody assumes that Benzino is a shitty dad because I mean, <laughs> this is, seems to be the case. And then B. She's a girl, so we just don't hold her to the same standard. I don't. What, what alludes to Benzino being a shitty father? Yeah, what do you mean? You just attacking I mean, this nigga fatherhood? As a person who's been paying attention to Benzino's whole career, Benzino just seems like a shitty person. I'm just gonna. I like, didn't even I, know he had. And that's kids. not like me having a problem with him. That's just like he's been like a very reliable bad guy in every situation I've seen play he's out. He's funny in love and hip hop. I have never seen him on Love and Hip Hop. So he also they also paint him very badly in Love and yeah, Hip Hop too. Bye. Does he really? Yeah, yeah, you should watch all the Benzino seasons. I of, watched like three episodes of Love and Hip Hop in my life. Did he get shot? I wanted shot? to see. Uh, he did get Joe shot. Biden. He got shot by his nephew on his mom at a funeral, funeral yeah. on the show on Love and Hip Hop. What? No, you gotta like, watch think, this, bro. I think it was his mom's funeral too. Yes, it was his mom's funeral. Mm. Yeah, somebody popped him. It wow. was his nephew, nigga. Damn, allegedly. And, I mean, allegedly. Free, free nephew Zeno. You I have to realize that like, <laughs> d- during my like pivotal years in hip hop, Benzino was the guy who tried to ruin the source. Honestly, and now that the source is ruined, you might think that honestly, that maybe had something to do with it. Eminem, Eminem, Wait, the when Eminem was his. Or he, which one was he? He was involved with it, and in a uh, lot of people's minds, he. But Eminem and Benzino, when they were going at it, bro, like that shit was like crazy. Yeah. That step was insane. By step, you, like I mean, because you had the number one hip hop magazine going against the number one rapper, and then the like, number one rapper. I won. don't believe yeah. we should do or at this. Least the number I one rapper lasted a lot longer. No feelings, but I want to be real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Right, Eminem. <laughs> Eminem needs to rap like the way he was rapping at that era of his career on all those mixtapes. He needs to rap like that. I need, I need like when toy- Eminem disses though, bro. He still oh, goes man. in, bro. Yeah, but he just be trying to put too many syllables into exactly. one. Exactly. He was rapping like he was hanging out with Lloyd Banks and Fifty and oh, shit. He was killing and it. rapping, and he, he just sounded it. like so much more relaxed. He's never sounded that chill. But, but, that's sense. That's but the that's climate, that's the climate has changed now, bro. Nobody wants. And to I hear feel it. like nobody wants to like the kids of today don't don't care about bars and metaphors like that. But they like, don't. We really don't. Not we, but they really don't want to hear this fast Eminem shit. It's even yeah. worse. No, but I that's feel like that's even worse. But that's what I'm saying. Is that was skill. Awesome. Skill and and having the, going back to the Joe Budden shit. Mm-hmm. It's like 
It's like uh, you, you, the kids don't want to hear that nowadays, though. Now, if somebody adds a little something witty into what they're saying now, right. yeah. then they fuck with that. But like just the art of fucking rap and putting syllables together and writing down and really putting some thought into your music and shit, but they look, don't give a fuck about that shit now. Look at TikTok. This is TikTok shit now. No, but that's why someone like Juice World was like so successful is because he merged like being melodic, <laughs> being able, having bars. having bars. His freestyles just, was fucking bro, he was going top crazy. tier. Amazing. X, X2. Like, Juice you know, is probably top five best freestylers of all time. Young Thug's at number one. He, he I, could be number one, it. for sure, for Which, sure. I mean, you know, that's Young Thug just saying whatever the fuck pops into his head. But, but I Young think that, Thug, that tells you a lot about what category Juice was in. But Juice, like, he, like. People would never give him his, fly, like, like the real old heads would never, like, admit that and be like, what? Like, that's crazy. He, he didn't have enough time nigga, to that, prove that. That Tim Westwood shit, my nigga, is legendary. Can't nobody take nothing away from that nigga for that shit. You nah, know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest, my boy Smoke Perp t- <laughs> blew him out of the water. <laughs> Smoke Perp blew him out the water with his freestyle, bro. I need, I think that was right. Uh, Smoke Perp did it right after Juice too. Yeah. So he was trying to get a Juice yeah. look. Now he said that he was like, "Yeah, yeah I'm coming for you, Juice. I'm coming for you." Oh my god, that's so amazing. Fucking hilarious, man. I uh, fuck. I had something like ten fucking minutes ago that I wanted to, to discuss, but now I can't remember. We just kept rambling this on. This is your brain on drugs. This is my brain on Kush. Uh, um, New York. Fuck. New York was fun. New York. It was lit. I went to do like a live stream for this uh, like oh, uh, app. No, Tra- right. Traveling to do a live stream concert has got to feel kind of crazy, right? Yeah, but it was cool because like there was multiple LA ones, and I was like, I want to do the New York one so I can go to New York because mm. I wanted to go be in New York, and it was cool. Like uh, we had a little couple technical difficulties. I had like a fifteen set song, only three of the songs loaded, mm. but I still got paid the same amount, so. Whatever. How many artists were on it? Uh, me, Malibu Mitch, uh, Trip Jones, and uh, there was a girl DJ in the beginning, DJ Nolita. Doesn't it feel weird doing the live concert because you have absolutely no way to know how many people are watching? And that is a huge factor in how you're supposed to feel when you do a live concert. Because I saw Sosa and Polo G perform to uh-huh. nobody in a virtual concert. Yeah. And it was awkward. I felt like there should at least be like a number on the wall that says like, you have eight thousand viewers. Because yeah. like when you're when you're on this, like I can't see the number right now. Ooh, is it six thousand? Fuck y'all. That ain't enough. We need more. Um, <laughs> Fuck when y'all. we're on this, it's like the chat is like the constant reminder. But it, we, it kind of fucked up the conversation on here too. So well, I just I just grabbed my manager's phone and looked and see, saw what the chat was saying <laughs> while, what, while I was performing. What were they saying? They were like putting fire emojis or like laughing. I was saying like crazy ass shit, so they were laughing. Like mm. it was it was cool. It was fun, bro. I just saw a video in Tel Aviv of a bunch of people just like at a bar, just like drinking and dancing and having like, fun, and it was just like. It really just looked like quarantine had just ended there, and they were just having so much fucking fun. And I was—that's how I feel watching fucking AD story. I'm like, he, this oh, week yeah, is yeah, in yeah. the club. I've been like that the whole fucking uh, no. Quarantine. This weekend, I was watching your story. I'm like, where is it? Is he even in America? Right. Like, nigga, it's people. no. He's in Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on. I'm Here on a, go. a street that starts with a D. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> but that that just like I don't know. It's going to be overwhelming once you can go out every day. And I think a lot of people are going to overdose on cocaine as soon as I think I'm going to come out. I think I'm going to keep the same energy that I'm on right now. Mm. I, but you know, for somebody that's been fucking turning up this whole goddamn quarantine, you bro, it? you don't care. Are you? It's over the same it? shit. We know this means nothing to you. It Much does like though. the lives of your I peers. Really wanna, it does. I it really, does. I want to party with you just one time because it looked so Pause. lit wherever you was at, bro. Bro, it, it was people everywhere. It was bottle girls. The it thing was is, lit. I, I got, like, I got one mode. It's just go. It's just. No, you have another mode. Get your teeth done. <laughs> See, there you go. Yo, that's, that's hatred. Like, but getting your teeth done is not go mode. Also, really, the way you show up most days is not go mode. Also, I have to take a piss. So uh, wait a minute. Okay, I've been. Wait. I've changed completely. Allegedly, I. <laughs> the, but you know what this makes it weird for me? I'm the kind of person who was going out and partying my whole fucking life, and then all of a sudden, I chilled out for like a for like a year, maybe a year and a half. Then it's quarantine for a year. And now it's like everybody's going to be able to go out again. You but I was already it. ignoring all the opportunities to go out for, for like a year or two before yeah. quarantine. Because you got off of meth. Yep. You had a baby. Mm-hmm. And you found poker. <laughs> poker is just something I started doing because <laughs> I had way more time around the house. And mm. also I'm addicted to poker. And I'm... I you left the Jack Shacks. I never left the Jack Shack. I'm not, I would like to open one <laughs> up like, around here. Please do not lie to me. No, no, we we could open a Jack Shack. That'd be a good business, actually. It's, but see, the thing is, is that y- your business 
It like, I just don't feel like you going to the club now. You're just like, I'm over yeah, you it. don't need to. And because, okay, this is what I wanted to tell you guys before, and I'm going to just hurt my kidneys and just not pee right away. But <laughs> what? how do you feel about this? Once we get this new no jumper space, A, it's all like we have a gated parking area. So security-wise, you put the code in or whatever. We let you in. You come in. You can park. Big-ass fucking gate so nobody can get to anybody. Not that we've really had that many yeah. issues lately. But, you know, that I think very, very important, the security. But then once you get in there, we have multiple different filming sets so we can film all kinds of shit. But then we also have a couple of studios right there so we can seamlessly transition. Oh, we just finished the interview. Pop in there, spit a verse, mm. make a song, that is do fire. whatever. We can just completely like facilitate the, the No Jumper record side of things and the podcast all in the same place. I just have a question. I need a raise then. Why? <laughs> because it's a new space. I need new money. <laughs> Why would the new space need to <laughs> spend? I need, a, I need a raise. You guys too. are spending more money and having a bigger space with more expenses, so therefore I need a raise for doing hey. the exact same job. Hey, so, man. That. And I'm never here. Hey. And I, I do math. I, I thought I'd throw it out there. I will take <laughs> over 80s old spot and <laughs> I need a raise too. The weird thing, honestly, is I'll be here be, every day. Let's go. It's going to be weird. If we did that, it's going to be weird that there's going to be like a lot of people trying to use it on any given night. We're going to have to be like hella strict about like, nah, like we, we got COVID, got COVID guidelines. No, honestly, bro. And if anything, y'all should have sent them to my studio until then. No. <laughs> His, I went, we, we went the other day. How was that? He hopped on the open verse I already had. And he, this nigga AD killed. You guys it. did a song out. together finally. Hey man, how was it? Was it was an open that I had already. That like honestly, oh, I got a. So you didn't actually. No, but just know we gonna we, we gonna cook one up together. I mean, that was us cooking. Go up. back and That's forth the, on the track, bar for yo, bar, like Jada and Styles. Adam's black friends on the track. Oh my god, you just ruined it. Why? We gonna name him Adam's black Adam's friends. Adam's black friends on the track is the name of the song. Yeah. That's kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> Yo, if, but honestly though, like, bro, my studio is dope. You only one ain't been there yet. It is. Everybody you know, in this room has been there except you. Josh Would has been you, there. Josh has been there. Why did he go Josh? there? Because you guys were fighting. Um, no. you. <laughs> Yes, he had to teach me about buying. How people. intimidating is the notion of going bar for bar back and forth with somebody that you've never rapped with before, like you two? Is that is that like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of, I have no idea if it's going to sound good. I don't, honestly, like I did that with Crispy Life and I swear, but I like challenges, bro. I like when somebody comes in and it's like, oh, this nigga fired. Let me try to. Blah, 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 blah. You should make a song about being a gun. No. I, I you should am make a, a nomad song, gun. Make a song all in reverse. Like Nas did. You know what was a good song Nas. idea? What? The, the gay guy who did the song with Bailey Ray Cyrus? You know what was a good song, but it, like now I'm thinking how it's so corny? It was a song with J. Cole, Wale, and Currency. And they were rapping about basically like a girl's pussy, but like as it was a person. Mm. And it was like, it was a good song back then, but now I'm just like, this is so corny. No Currency Slender. No, I love what currency, bro. Jet currency life, hard. jet life to the next life. What Can I get a currency interview? Go spam his shit. Say, you really do, do. do no jumper. Did a, I'll, I'll call him. He did oh. a bait. He the did plug. a plug. He did a babe collab recently. The industry too. whisperer. <laughs> industry whisperer. You are the industry whisperer and your industry. Crippin'. Wait, speaking of speaking of your industry friends. <laughs> industry crip and all like that. I'm gonna start saying Speaking that. of your industry friends, please don't you, disrespect none of my friends. Did you see your boy getting it for spitting in girls' mouths on stage? Yeah, I seen. I seen the fuck. Who gives we're a fuck? We're talking about Trey songs, by the it way. It looked like he was making a little sexy tape with them. I thought they were about hey, to get it on. Wait a minute. You ain't never it spit in nobody's mouth, bro. Not on camera. That's hot. One time, I actually, after I denied ever having done it the other day, uh, my girl pointed out that at one point early on when we were fucking, I, I spit in her mouth, and that then she knew that I had strep throat and that she was disgusted by it. Oh but she my didn't get God. it. Oh, she, but how did she know that you had it then? She could taste the... She could taste the strep? She tasted the infection, gulped Yo, it down, what? and let me know. And then sh her immune system was so strong that she didn't get it. So then, wow. what, so she she told you, and then you went to the doctor and you had it. Yeah. Then your spit <laughs> tasted that bad. Well, I think I already knew. Or it was some shit where I was sick or something, and I was. You just, ain't never spit nobody mouth. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that shit is dope. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think I've done it since then, and I think I probably only did it that time because of. I think people were just trying to make drugs. a big deal of it because he was. Trey already in is the in the position where everybody wants to get on his ass, no matter About what the fuck he is. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but he has just gotten to that level. Like Meek is in the same box right now. Yeah. If Meek fucking farted right now on camera, it's like it's gonna be Meek slander all day. Did you yeah. see Wendy Williams fart and burp at the same time on camera? That's a nigga on her fucking no. show. That's uh, she's like. <laughs> 
I was like, oh. She just like, oh, honey, let me tell you about <laughs> she, Kim yeah, Kardashian. She, she let it fly. Honestly, if she farted anywhere near me, I would run. I do not want to smell what the fuck is going on in her colon. She's probably <laughs> eating. She's probably eating healthy. Yeah, right. You don't yeah, think she eating sweet green with no dressing? I'll be right back. I got to piss. <laughs> no, <laughs> nigga, that's you. That's got. the whitest thing I've ever heard you say you did was eat sweet green with no dressing. I'm not feeling good about it. <laughs> the whitest thing I ever heard him do was do meth. <laughs> 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 What's the whitest thing you ever done, AD? Like, if you could categorize it. Let me see. I think being on this show is the whitest thing you've ever done. Nah, bro. Okay, I'm going to tell you something recently, bro. I kind of like a couple of Ariana Grande songs, bro. Mm. So I'll be hitting the freeway listening to like... she be going crazy, though. I know, but it's just like... You know, I got my shit on and everything, bro. And I got a, I got a, I got, I got a blue a, rag on my fucking charm, and, and I'm, I'm on the freeway. And then, like, when I get off the freeway, I go to stop signs and shit. I just turn that shit off. I just look, like, just like mm, make sure nobody sees. I'm me listening to it. fucking Ice Cube. Nah, you know what? I got a, I got a really good sense of just like you outside of this when we went to the studio because mm-hmm. I was listening, I was hearing the shit you was listening to. Mm-hmm. You just kind of just vibing, got the purple lights on in the car. I'm like, I felt like AD was trying to seduce me a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, he got, he got some R and B on. He accidentally rubbed my thigh. Was trying, <laughs> trying to change gears. Yo, Yassi had me scared to get in the car with this nigga, bro. Why, bro? Listen, I have very bad PTSD with car accidents because I've almost died in three different car accidents where I was not the driver. So so whenever I hear about someone driving crazy, I'm like, I'll take an Uber. Okay. I was going to take an Uber and meet you there. But this is the thing. Yazzie has probably been in the car with me probably 40, 50 times. So why the fuck did she fuck still kill? y'all doing 40 or 50 times together? No, I would just take her. I would just drop her off home and shit. You haven't even done close to 40 or 50 podcasts. That has to be a lie. No, nigga. <laughs> that's not a lie. Yassie? How? We, I, what I what episode I, are we on now? I doubt you've even... You're, you're, okay, I, maybe I put dubs on it. Maybe I twenty. We've even been around each other forty or fifty times. <laughs> Probably like never mind. 25, 25, 26. Yeah, yeah. I see. I, t- I was trying to get. But she's telling this nigga, "Don't get in the car at AD. He's fucking crazy and oh, he no, drives all this stuff." And you're no, totally I'm not. In hell about it. Everybody that has ever been in the car. Her and my little brother it. just talked crazy about my driving, bro. Listen, I know that I'm apparently a bad driver because I have Vel, who's like the craziest driver ever, yeah. telling me that I'm a bad driver. So I'm like, all right. I I've been in the car driver. with you, and you drive way faster than I do. You drive, you drive like this, staring in your phone. Yeah, yeah, he was. That's the main issue. And it was raining <laughs> and wet. Denial. It was raining and wet and shit. Oh, <laughs> No, Yassi tried to play me. I was trying to get her to come in the studio, and she was like, oh, I know why you want me to come. I'm like, why? She's like, so I can bring my friend. I'm like, nigga, Ooh. I would have I asked her myself if I wanted her to come. That's offensive that you think that house phone's too good for you? You don't think he's trying to holler at you? She got a mask on, so I can't see her expression. She be telling me how I'm cute sometimes. So, oh, I don't fuck. know. If she, I don't know. If she be flirting. Look, she's enough. like, no, I don't. <laughs> but like, Damn. Are you are you trying to style her? Was it just me, or did you come in here with a bag of clothes and you were trying to sell it to her? Oh no! I just got—I I literally got off the plane. And I ran to the stage. I've been working some years for this. You should start styling girls, though. Don't you think that like don't you turn you, to Kevin don't, Samuels? Don't you see girls all the time, and you just think yeah, like you're bad as fuck, but you could dress way better. Exactly. Like if I just like put you in some fucking round two apparel, if I got yeah, you I'm, some d- vintage distressed shirts and shit, <laughs> I could make you look really lit. Yeah, bro. I was gonna say like I would just be having bitches dressed like me with like baggy cargos on and like a, a, a old t shirt and like, yeah, a, and they'll be spreading hot sauce in everyone's car. <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm cool. And a fitted cat backwards. One time I went to round two and I bought my girl a Supreme hat and as what? soon as she put it on, I just like saw her like in a different light and I'm like, wow. You wish she was Billie Eilish. That's cute, but also that is just so not you. You're so yeah. not the Supreme hat type. And I feel like both of y'all are not even like into that type of shit, so you probably couldn't. You, she probably didn't even have a cool one. She probably was wearing it weird. Like. No, and I was thinking, I'm like, bitch. I, <laughs> oh no! I'm like, it's BMX. Like, I'm a BMX rider. Like, how the fuck you wearing a skate company hat? Like, I was all of a sudden like back to the fucking like high school days. Like, what? Is- <laughs> I own a clothing company called Awesome Some Shit. If you're gonna wear a little hat with a little label of a brand, no, 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 no. Lena's gonna fuck you. No, no, no. You know no, the, that, you, that part was a joke. You know how I how I gauge if I should fuck with a bitch or not? If I see a bitch wearing an awesome shit beanie oh, or an no. awesome shit hoodie, she's getting blocked immediately. No cap. I gauge it how I'm much <laughs> how much Hennessy she can down. You know, you'll you'll <laughs> you'll get to the point 
where I'll fucking where you have ass. people that you do not want wearing your clothes, wearing your clothes, oh, and, you ha- and you have to just not say anything about it, and you think that it makes your shit look whack as fuck, and you just kind of ignore it. You know who did that? That was so fucked up. Fucking Bari. He was like roasting some kid because he was wearing the V Long Air Force. He's like, take my shit off. Really? He make it look like like how big of a okay. I'm, we don't even got no problem no more. But I remember that. I remember people just being like, yo, like you're an asshole for doing that. Yeah, I would never say that about some kid that was wearing high. I've wanted to say it before, bro. I ha- I've had dudes get tattoos of my face oh that my was like God. the cringiest shit I ever seen, and I'm just like, that's hard, bro. And then I'm like looking at the fucking comments rolling in of them getting roasted, and I'm just not yeah. saying anything because I'm just like, okay. I'm sorry. It's like it's like I like it people give me tatted. Dude, that one guy got a huge portrait of you on his fucking thigh. It looked like RuPaul. <laughs> 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 I, uh, <laughs> you know, that was fucked up. I don't even remember what at, I look like. I'm just saying. <laughs> at some point, you got to realize, like, it's not worth just getting the joke off. Like, you got to just not be mean to random people. On oh, internet, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, but, but Bari, like, that didn't stop him from uh, oh, calling no. out NLE Chopper for wearing fake Vila, which to me is kind of like the fake shit looks just like the real shit. So it's kind of like you, you like calling out, I don't know, like, to me, that's almost like the same thing. I mean, like, if you saw somebody wearing a blade, like, if it was, like, a no jumper logo hoodie and it was, like, just, like, it was just, like, so fucked up and low quality and, yeah, like, yeah. and you knew it was fake as fuck, you would, and, like, you know. I would definitely feel away for and sure. And they were famous as fuck, you would probably post, like, yo, bro, come get some real shit from me. You know what was crazy is for, for uh, oh, yeah, it was in Mexico. I, like, went to Mexico and just, like, this is back in the BMX days. Mm. Oh my fucking god! In Mexico, there must be somebody making millions of dollars bootlegging on some shit stuff. Because really? I saw so many kids out there with fake fucking shirts, and they were not even close That's to being like anything. But I mean, it's the same way out there, where like you know, you see somebody in a Nike shirt or a Louis Vuitton shirt, you know that shit ain't real yeah. either. That's just what they do. They don't have like the same thought process about copyright infringement and all that. So oh, no. that you have to keep that in mind too. You can't really like get angry at people for bootlegging shit because. Because in a lot of cultures, that's just totally normal. Bro, and honestly, that's a good sign that your shit is doing well. That pe- so many people want your shit that they can't actually get it. And that they are bootlegging it. But the know? weird part about it was it felt like, oh, like this shit is more... Like this, the fake version of my shit is more popping here than, than the there. real shit is anywhere. That's that's beautiful. But because like those dudes like have much less brands that they're like pulling from. That's kind of like yeah. Tupac kinda when, he found, when he found people like... Uh, Bootlegging his music. You ever seen that shit? But he's like, I think he's. What dope. did he do? Didn't he, didn't he steal some of it or something? Yeah, he, got, he was oh, tripping. Yeah, oh, I didn't know he was tripping. <laughs> no, yeah, That's was, dope. Didn't Jay Z do that too? He like stabbed the guy who was like he's, allegedly. allegedly. Who did allegedly. he stab? I forget. No, that was his brother. Or something. He stabbed fucking. Or, or no, no, he, uh, he stabbed a bootlegger that was selling his CDs. I'm pretty sure. No, it wasn't it like justified. Oh, I'm mixing up stories in my I know, brain because I'm mixing up Puffy smashing the champagne bottle over Steve Stout's head for leaking his. Uh, his ver- or the music video with him on the cross and oh he leaked that Steve Stout leaked that video I think it wasn't supposed to have Nas on the on the on the cross they decided that that was a bad idea and then it came out anyway that video was so gas though I yeah. love that song Hate that me is now? the best fucking that's the best era of Nas's career well not that's the best song from that era of Nas's career like the post Illmatic but before Stillmatic mm-hmm. era. That song. I was just talking about how all the Diddy's verses sucked ass, and like whoever the fuck was writing those verses. No, bro, it goes back to that nostalgia, bro. At the time, at the time, bro, Diddy and Mace was killing, killing. No, 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 no. no. You know what was the best? He's saying the verses didn't age well, which is a yeah. difference. You can yeah, say you're that, right, a different right. conversation. Okay. Okay. Honestly, but if that's R&B, the case, all the old shit. And this, nobody was say. geeking out about fucking puffy verse back that's then either. Even if he did have somebody the, fire writing it for it, can I get a poker? The R and B, R and B Diddy was a different type of level, though. Bro, I need a girl to fly. Oh, that's fight. one of my favorite songs of all time. Classic, bro, like for it, like. You gotta throw that on in the whip. That era, started. bro, I was just like falling that's the type too of shit, much. That's the type of shit AD was trying to play for me in the whip the other day. Bro, I, I really drive. I really drive yeah, around the, listening yeah, the purple to purple lights on. Listening to night. No, I did not. Nineties R and B, bro. I love it. I've had so many people tell me like, "Oh, real real gangsters don't drive around listening to rap music. They drive around listening to oldies and shit." Bro, I swear to God, I, I listen to I listen to nineties R and B mostly. More than anything. That shit sucks. I like rap music. Right now, I've been on uh, ESTG, though. That's my favorite uh, project right now. What, what is that all about? This is Jack Harlow's homies or something? ESTG? He yeah. signed, I think he signed to Yo Gotti. Okay. Snigger hard. Lil Baby actually just said that he's a new Young Jeezy. I just seen that he had 
fucking oh, huh. throw me my poker. I just I don't I don't actually know anything about him yet, but bro, I've seen a lot. The album is fucking fire, bro. Really? I've been listening. I've been listening to that shit nonstop for like a week straight. Because the whole album, though. The whole part. The whole uh, mixtape. This is my whole thing. Is that I feel like because I, I had a tweet. I was like, yo. What rappers can you honestly say you're genuinely excited about right now? Because it doesn't feel like there's a ton of rappers that people are genuinely excited about right now. Because like when Pooh Shiesty came out, it was like a feeling of like, oh, thank God we got like a, a new street rapper that's actually got like a dope flow and everybody's like really excited about him because... It felt like it, it feels like hip hop has kind of like slowed down in terms of like you just seeing some new shit that you're super hyped on all the time. It feels like that was happening at a faster pace in 2017, 2018, maybe even 2019. I think ESTG is gonna be a new guy. His album is is it hasn't been a like a, a mixtape a project that I've listened to all the way and I fucking like enjoy damn near every single song on there. Mm. And the shit is like gangster. I, I, on my last picture, I quoted this shit too. I said she was faithful till she met a gangster. And that's him. Yeah, that shit was dope. I gotta that's, get on that. Yeah, bro, shit fired. Though. I'm gonna keep it G, kid. Oh, I saw that actually. And it was Let wondering. me ask House Phone, kid. House Phone, you on ESTG yet, kid? I'm on NFT. No, ES. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm on NFT. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make an NFT of uh, House Phone eating 80s ass. No, no, no. Bro, you know, do not. Hold on. I almost you know burnt down the studio. Actually, you know what someone actually made an NFT of? What? Remember when we were on tour with fucking Pump and Perp? I stage dove and I bro and I ripped my jeans. Mm. Someone fucking made an NFT of that. Wow. And it was like, it was like NFT of a um, historic concert in Seattle, Washington that I, I shot. I hope that I'm not looking back on what I'm saying about NFTs and regretting it but I, will. I have so little faith in this being like a long term thing Adam think about if someone's selling an old picture that they took of me in 2017 it's lit we gotta get on it that was not a very convincing argument. I'm just saying that, nigga. <laughs> Think you, about it. If somebody's charging thousands of dollars for an old picture of me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, nigga. You could be doing the same I'll thing. I'll buy it just to be like, I own this fucking picture. No, I mean, I, I guess the photographer is selling it and he took the picture. So I, I could probably he, make a, an easy little bag if I like sold NFTs of like what, like Fousey yelling into my face and like, you know, other various like NF meme things. NFT chopper. I see every single one of these bitches just trying to sell <laughs> NFTs of their nudes like it's the fucking most brilliant idea oh, ever. It's God, like, okay, that's stupid. Chill, chill. The reason, and when you think about the NFT thing too, it's so easy to understand why it's so appealing to people. The idea that you own something that you had no idea that you owned that is apparently very valuable to a lot of other people, but that you don't have to actually do anything or give them anything in order to sell this thing to them. Like it's so obvious that that would appeal to people once they bought into the idea. But to me, it's like, it's the bubble of all bubbles. Like these things do not. It's very niche. I just don't believe that they have. A lot of people didn't think, think it's too niche. A lot of people didn't think Bitcoin was going to be the way it is. Yeah, and I hate and look at it now. But everybody tries to use that argument of like, oh, look at this other thing that wasn't yeah. valuable and now it's valuable. Therefore, all things will become <laughs> valuable. It's like, no, like so, some speculative markets are just not. Good markets. No be jumper in. coins coming soon. Yeah, we could do that. But I've also I've watched about a million failed coins. There's a million, yeah, like so Bitcoin many. type coins. So the idea that like all of those failed, but then NFTs are not going to fail is like Safari coin. I'm down with that. I'm I I want to like a like a Brian Pumper coin. I would like to actually start. Oh, you probably buy every single last one. Of would them. you buy Pump a coin? Would you buy a <laughs> uh, Pump coin? Would you buy a Brian Pumper NFT? He would for sure. I w this is just to I, talk about it on YouTube. No, but that is a good question because this is the thing: is that there needs to be more ways for fans to spend money on things because there are very few options when it really comes down to it. I Your can be fucking figure keeps looking at me. I, I can be the biggest him. Brian Pumper fan in the world. And I don't like it's hard to like express your your fandom. And that's where a lot of this like crazy merch stuff comes from is that it's like, you know, if, if you're the biggest if you're the biggest Rio the Young OG fan in the world, there's yeah. not that much stuff that you can spend money on to express your fandom of I know. Him. I need some real merch. I, I, I need some real merch where it's just his face and it's just zoomed in on the side of his face that's messed up. That is smart. But that that like, re, like Rio like merch is one option that he can sell merch. Mm -hmm. But it's like you can't really sell music. Everybody who likes your music is just going to listen to it for free no matter what. Yeah. You could sell like what posters or some shit, but do people really want to put posters you on their wall? I don't know. Maybe That's some of them. That's why you sell NFTs. But then now it's it's an NFT. I can own 
the NFT of Rio the Young OGs burns on his face from the grease when he was making fries back in the day. I don't personally actually believe that this has any value. But what if you could what if you could buy NFT of the hot grease in the fry? <laughs> <laughs> like objects that don't exist anymore, sorry. but somehow you can make one. I hope he beats oh, your no, ass. Good. I hope he's in your DMs right what now. What do you mean? That's my nigga. How dare you? He follows me. Did nobody nobody really has like seized on the Rio merch collab? Yo, you ever heard of this uh, rapper named Lil Yachty? He follows me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I heard you ask him to follow you the other no, day on the podcast. No, I did not. No, I did not. You Allegedly. Fucking, you, you fucking cocksucker. with the follow back, bro. Allegedly. I did not say that. I did not at all. You know, though, is the interesting part about that conversation, though, is the way that That's to, my bro. to Yachty, the, the criticism or the idea that he is not, like, that he should not be rapping like all these Detroit guys is so foreign to him. He's yeah, just like... Right. He's like, I'm rapping with all the best rappers. Like, what, why the fuck would I not want to fuck with these guys? Like, it's What's so that? hard for him to understand the argument that he should not just do whatever he wants. Because, like, why should he? No, I totally agree. Like, from his perspective, the music critic perspective of, <laughs> like, oh, I don't like your music. The, you know, the funniest shit was AD not knowing who Anthony Fantano was. No, that who was... That? Who the, is he? <laughs> who is it? Who is Cub? He's, like, the bald guy on YouTube that reviews music. And with he's, glasses? he's, like, insanely famous You've for it. You've seen him for sure. You've definitely seen him. You would be like, oh, that guy. But it's also, like, it just says a lot about your world that you don't know who he is. And Bro, honestly, on YouTube, I, I watch No Jumper and Kevin Samuels. Dude, okay. I think I think that's why we have such a funny dynamic is we're all coming from three completely separate places. Mm. Yeah, and it just, uh, it just I watch a lot more poker YouTubers than you guys. I that's know for sure. Absolutely zero poker YouTubers. So and that's okay, but you should still head on over to mybookie.com and use code. <laughs> no hey, if to you, get ten thousand dollars allegedly. You know what? I feel like me and Adam Caban. If he teaches me how to play poker, they try to teach me him and Josh. And they're probably the worst teachers of all time. Yeah, I feel like Adam is probably a terrible teacher. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I'm, I, I, you're I, the worst student like, of all time. I feel like you have like the patience to not be like the best teacher. I don't have patience, and I know so much about poker, but I don't know anything about teaching of poker. How to tell you? So like, the idea. Turn him. Turn his. Turn him, please. She's like mean mugging me the whole time. Yeah, put him that way. He's looking at you like. Can I <laughs> trick? Just clown your ass real quick. No, but I, like. Teaching, being good at teaching someone how to do something is like so different than being able to, to, to just it. do it. Yeah. And that's like my problem is that, but the thing with poker though is like if you went to a casino and sat down for a couple hours and felt what it's like to suck at poker, it would be a lot easier for me to then make you better at poker. But it still would be like, I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know how to teach someone to play yeah. poker at this point in my Believe life. It. But also like, I just don't recommend poker for the average person because it is like a game where you are going to lose money on average in the long term unless you put in a lot of studying to become really good at it. And, you know, that's just the that's average, like the average person is just like would not be interested in the and amount of studying that you have to do to be good at poker these days. Yeah. Hmm. Are you um, have you ever like BMX BMX coached anyone? Or like taught them how to like ride a bike, basically. You no. teach me how to ride a bike. You don't I, know how to ride a bike. Yes, I do. Oh, so that'd be so ah, funny. Here we go. Here yeah, we go. I can see you on that bike that with uh, training that wheels. Reese was rolling around on that big blue mm. thing. That thing was all. It was silver. It wasn't blue. It was blue. It was chrome. Pull it up. I sure it was blue. It might have been blue. It, it definitely was some, blue. It said some crazy shit on the side of it. Fun fact. Josh doesn't even know what we're talking about to even pull it up. Fun fact. As a little kid, I lived across the street from the house. No, where no, they no, filmed. no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> one of my neighbors, he had one of the rappers. The, the uh, name was Mr. Tan. Shout out to Mr. Tan. He was um, on the song, You Just a Baby Boy. That was yeah. a theme song for the shit. And he used to always be on the block. And I used to come across the street like, There goes Mr. Tan from Baby Boy. <laughs> you were Bro, right. That song was hype as fuck. That song was hard. Hey, you know what we got to talk about? Huh, so what? that he can make a video about it. Who? The new white YouTuber that we are familiar with. Well, actually, you probably oh, still don't know anything about Oh, yeah. It. Shout out Baba Lamb. I watched a video about you. I saw you. That, that he made about us. I saw you post. He made a video um, about me? No, no, no. Yeah, I saw you're you a snitch. I saw you no, post. I saw you post. He did? No. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm about AD, to get AD, on kill. Don't let, don't let them troll you, please. All right. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> I'm about to say, they're about to get me upset, kid. <laughs> he said you were trans. Um, um, Adam, he said you are RuPaul. What do you think about Baba Lamb? I mean, I'm the one who told you about him, so um, I've, been, I've been fucking with his videos for like probably like 
the past like i don't know six months six months like okay so I, i'm kind of in the dark about him i didn't realize that like i never saw him until the clickbait popped up of him talking about us and then from there you probably wait didn't what get the fuck did he say he's not talking he about said that you were you were really rupaul in a in a hat oh uh, now you're just joking <laughs> all right uh, no. you're gonna make me not no. like this nigga for no reason cuz we talked about god him. damn we we brought him up last week and he was just reviewing me and adam talking about him last Bob week. Lamb, we need a free review of ad's music so that he can know that you did not say that he was a snitch or a trans person. Also, I need a, I need a Bob Lamb review of my music too. I there you know, go. I, I Shout out to Bob Lamb. I want to know what he thinks about my music. You should pay C Mac the Loke to comment on your music as well. I would pay C Mac the Loke to uh, promote High Rollers for sure. That should be amazing. I got a new drop coming out, cuz. But here you go. <laughs> would you have him model for you, or is it too spicy? Too spicy. It's too spicy. See, that's what I'm talking about. I even, want even High Rollers. You're too prejudice. Spicy. I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> it's not prejudice to not want to like I know, flame gang tension <laughs> yeah. in the city you live in. <laughs> I'm gonna just try to stay away from that, you know. And like you know, I know I know people on both sides of that, so I definitely don't want to be in the in the the the, the, the middle of that at all. <laughs> Milk seven four. Seven foe, excuse me, was seven. in the comments. <laughs> he was like, Mil- I mean, here interviewing Milk seventy <laughs> four. Like, the worst was when I said forty seven by accident. Oh told, my god! Two, two different, like, two different dynamics I of white people. I saw somebody pointed out, and then he commented back like, "Yeah, Adam, be thinking he funny or some shit." Like, <laughs> I think that's before I interviewed him. No, but no. Okay, so Milk was in the comments on the interview with C Mac, basically like <laughs> promoting his own interview. So now I'm wondering like. Is it only a matter of time until they butt heads on the internet? Because that's a show that. Well, he already know. made a he already made a video about C Mac. Oh, before. he did. I didn't even yeah. see it. Yeah, you never you never seen that. I, I, oh. I tried to tell you. And shout out to Milk because he's definitely gonna make a video about us talking about this right yeah. now. Shout out to the Loke, Milk you, Seven Milk has a real knack for making a ten minute video without really saying Which, all that hey, much. You, you, you know <laughs> you wanna know what's crazy is like, yeah, when y'all put the uh, the video up of uh, of him saying the N word and don't, shit. Don't pass it to AD. I'm no, right. I don't want it. Um, it was like three fake accounts that wrote me like you gonna let him say this and woo, woo, woo. and I wrote was back more than that. this crib, cuz no, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it's crib, cuz. Uh, I mean, how do you feel about that though? Like a lot of people are looking at you like, wow, like how could you ever let a guy say that in front of you? But to be fair, for, for, wait, wait. he is the guy who's gonna get a pass more than anyone. Wait, wait. For one, doesn't mean he's gonna get a pass, but more than for for one, everybody would think I was crazy if I wanted to fight somebody uh, uh, over here for yeah. a fucking interview. That's a good That's, point. As an interviewer, you're sort of like removing yourself from for, the whole beefing with someone. For two, for two. I think that's what everybody in the fucking office and everybody else expects me to do, right? It's mm. like, no. And number Speak on it. And number three, when it comes down to it, bro, do I actually give a fuck that this guy was raised by a black woman, didn't know he was fucking white until he was about 12, 13 years old? Did he not look in the mirror? I don't what, understand. No, but, I, what, bro, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that, and the niggas from his hood mm. that I know personally that are reputable niggas says that he's with the business, he's one of us, That's it is fact. what it is, why the fuck would I care? Yeah. He can go around him, he can say this shit all day, he's reputable from his hood, I don't give a fuck. Do I That's really care? Fact. Am I going to go That's home really and be like this? Business. Is this guy saying this? Woom, woom? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm a street nigga, bro. If, if a nigga gets put on my hood and he go gets put, he does shit and everybody praises him, he can say whatever the fuck he want to say. And I dare a nigga to say something else. Mm. I will say this, though. I feel like him trying to act like he was being oppressed by having a black girlfriend was kind of like, all right, bro. Calm where where down. did he say that? Oh, he was in just the kinda, interview? Yeah, yeah, like he was just he like, goes, oh. we get some looks. Like, no, bro, no, they nah, definitely nah. get some looks, especially where he's at. Him walking around with a black woman, I guarantee people are looking but listen, at that like it's a If crazy he's shit, walking bro. around with a black woman in his hood, no, and that's his hood. No he's one's going to say nothing, bro. But when he goes to he's the not, mall oh, and yeah, sees yeah, yeah, people that yeah, are yeah, not yeah. from his neighborhood, I guarantee they're looking at that relationship crazy. Yeah, and then too, it's just like, bro, like. But like, I don't know. It's, just it's, like, it's different dynamics. It's like, all right. But this is interesting because from some people's perspective, they would say that you're basically like choosing to view this as a gang member before you view it as a black man. That's definitely and, how I'm viewing it. I know, and that's very it's an interesting <laughs> dynamic because hand a though. lot of people would not really be able to like expect that. But no, you, but but that's you, you oh, being no. a black man that is a gang banger is like those go hand in hand with each other. Allegedly, so it's like, I'm not a gang member. I am. I mean, whatever. I'm just, I'm just saying, like you're on the website. Those yeah, definitely on the websites. <laughs> like you could coexist and be both and have an opinion on it 
but from see, both angles. My thing is, is that people pick and choose when they want to say exactly. something. Like, exactly. like ninety five percent of these people don't have fucking friends that they let say the n word in front of them and shit like that. Bro, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, especially like in L A. and Southern California and shit, bro. It really is different, bro. When but you go I to realize, when you go to fucking school, bro. Yeah, blacks, blacks, Mexican. I mean, Mexicans, white people, Hawaiians, all type of stuff. People pick and choose when they want to give somebody a pass to well, say listen, anything or to or to trip. And honestly, that's, that's what that's what um um one that's thing. I agree with well. academics about is that people pick and choose different people that they'll trip on him. They won't trip on Adam or Vlad about something. They'll trip on him about something oh, yeah. because he's fucking black. And that's and that's fucking yeah, true, yeah. bro. I and that's not that that's not cool. Massively. And yes. it's, it's partially though, because he's like his brand is known for being the first on gossip and beef shit yeah. in rap more than other people like his brand is more known for that than no jumper or vlad so he kind of gets the most shit for it but also i completely agree he's black so he the people view it completely different so so but but you know if you're going if you're going to trip on somebody for saying something to me i don't give a fuck if you black white blue if you say something about me yeah. and i run into you i'm gonna slap the dog shit out of you i don't give a he's fuck about the color lines about, of that. yeah he's not saying nothing about nobody specifically i know that but i'm yeah. just saying like people pick and choose when they want to say certain <laughs> things that somebody are no, that's a fact are, you know what i'm saying give a fuck but about you it. know what's weird is I feel like I have like I know that milk is generally respected by the people from For reading sure. the comments because so many of the comments are clearly people that are actually like from LA like in the streets etc and when I see like mad comments being like I asked my OGs about this guy. There ain't no smut on his name. Yada yada yada. And there's enough yeah. comments like that. I then take the anonymous comments to be like, okay, like I get why. No, that's he doesn't get but, shit from And people. a nigga wait, that's wait. really in the streets, bro, that's and and niggas is sitting there saying, like, honestly, bro, if I got a problem with somebody, and I and I'm I'm a nigga that really move around these streets and really be in the places and stuff like that, bro. It's like okay, but <laughs> can I can I can I just say this though? I'm like y'all y'all are so focused on like the street aspect of shit, which is like he is a street YouTuber and shit like that. But it's like if he like the, his content is actually good, and if he <laughs> wants to actually like re reach a broader audience and be like. Like respect, because everyone is not from your neighborhood. Everyone exactly. is not going to understand mm -hmm. that type of shit. It's like it, like it's almost like the white privilege of being like, oh, I'm a, I'm owed the right to say this word because I'm from a gang and because blah blah. blah. It's like it's like it's like the white privilege. The, of it the bigger kinda, he gets, the more of a liability it'll but be. But for sure, I think that that he, like if he just were to stop, it'll like, save himself a ton of headaches. It's like at the end of the day, like like you don't like like it's not your right. To like just say it just because like you know it's just no like, it's, but even even having this interview I feel like he knows that now and he wants to get bigger yeah. and he like the but he the doesn't want to back up back down on the yeah. stance that he yes. took initially too and mm -hmm. and the thing is too is when I was talking to him I told him too is like listen you you have a responsibility to let other Man, people know like this ain't cool for this real. ain't what you do and exactly. all type of shit like that you know what I'm saying like personally. At that time, I, I, bro, I understood it. Like when you guys no. first talked about him, and I had a personal conversation with him before he even came on his platform. Yep. I said, you know what, I understand it. But see, when I when I first sent the YouTube, like one of his YouTube videos to our group chat, I didn't even hear him say that. I think one of y'all pointed it out first, and then I was kind of like, oh shit, like, but like it wasn't even that big of a deal. It was just like, oh, like whatever. And then it's just like, but the fact that it wasn't that big of a deal, kind of. Says what you think of him based on first impression because if it was any other type of dude, yeah, you're right. If it looked like Baba Lamb and he was saying it, if Baba Ooh. Lamb, if Baba Lamb hopped on YouTube saying, "Man, my nigga, da da da," I, bro, what? Ba 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 ba. And then too, it's like for me, for me, I look at shit like I this. I like that you like him. I, oh my god. Oh. Okay. No, and but I listen, listen. But, I've had I've had discussions with Josh and stuff like that, right? And I, I um, I think Josh I said, said this. It? No, <laughs> Josh, Josh, Josh called you a nigga. No, no, no. Josh ain't said it. Did he say nigga or nigga? No, 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 no. Listen, but I definitely. But I've been type. even coming Whoa. to this platform. I've tried to get better with myself mm -hmm. when it comes to things that I would react off of because I feel like everyone is like not like necessarily like y'all, but people are like rooting for me or waiting for me to trip or do some some crazy ass shit up here, mm -hmm. and I'm like I don't even want to be put. As that stereotype, you know what I'm saying? I want to be better for myself, better for my children, be better for my brand. That's because even in my fucking, just doing my music career, bro, like, I've missed out on so much because people are like, he's he's this, he's this, he's going to do that. Like, you know That's what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to bring that stigma 
to this platform because I'm like, well, this is something different. It's dope. And I feel like certain people expect me to act a certain way. And I've told Josh like the last couple of weeks, um, even talked about this on my show. I said, I feel like a couple of motherfuckers have been pressing my buttons up here and I've been cool and I've been trying to be cool and I've been handling it the right way mm. instead of a way that I feel like people would want, want me to react. Be. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, it is like we didn't really like talk about it a lot going in or anything, but it is really interesting just A, this is by far obviously the most time that you've spent just talking on camera because that's not really like a big part of the job when you're rapping, which yeah. is what you were doing before this. And then also, this is probably the most time that you've spent around white people in general. <laughs> like For like over a year, you just being around white people this much, and it's like, that probably is kind of like unique to you. And like, what? what no, is I have it? white family members, bro. Allegedly. I told you that. For <laughs> real. Where? How? What are you talking about? My grandma tattooed on my neck was not black at all. She oh, okay. had black husband, my mom, my uh, black uh, black mom. But uh, but she was white like us, like corny as hell? She, no, she was, she was white, um, oh, like white, Spanish, Italian, Indian, and something else. But all of her brothers and sisters, none of them black. They all married black people. That's fire. Yeah, but yeah, like, so my roots, like, I remember going to... Uh, uh, Tucson, Arizona. I have cousins that look just like you and Josh. That's and, fine. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> no, like they. Ad, how are you? No, one of my one of my <laughs> Ad, co- my brother, how are you? <laughs> no, one of my cousins. Um, What's up, big cuz? <laughs> get it, get it, because you're. No, a listen. <laughs> <laughs> one of my cousins was a uh, beautiful was, out, so. was about to get married to this guy. Mm-hmm. They was engaged, and then here comes me and my brothers and sisters, and then yeah, he's like. like these 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 black kids are your fucking cousins <laughs> and like on some racist shit when we was little and wow. and, and and fucking cut off the engagement because of that because he didn't know that she had black family members bro wow. stupid ass nigga. yes did you hear that chica got kicked out of the black lives matter group chat because she was pissed off about yg doing a music video at the protests who is chica <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. wait <laughs> she's a rapper oh the girl yeah. she's actually fire yeah yeah yeah, yeah. should i not have laughed like that i don't know i just assumed that you would you would know who she was no, I know she is, but I thought I that know. I thought that was you saying like she might have left the group chat for the record. Oh, I thought that was you. What's wrong with YG doing it? Well, they were mad that he did what? Saying that he like capitalized he off of a, like, he did a, a a music video at the video shoot for the, the Black Brianna Lives Taylor Man, yeah. protest or some shit, and he just pulled up and was like, "Fuck it, I'm shooting a video," which is very like that. That sounds like YG be, of just yeah. being like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna just do but whatever I want he's, without he's, thinking about the way that some yeah. people perceive you can that." See, you, know? you can see how people would take that offensively. I don't oh, think yeah. that he had any malice in nah. doing that. That's I, what I'm saying. Like him, he he, 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 was he to probably do it for he it. probably tried to do it for a good but reason. You know, but you know about YG, people are gonna, he's like the king of LA. Like he's like him is he's gonna get a pass on that more than anybody. But if you if Jack Harlow did that, it's not going over. <laughs> Jack Harlow, it's not going to be. Jack good Harlow put up to the Black Lives Matter protest, shooting a video. Nah, I mean, like he could get away with. I mean, I don't no, think he'd get not, away I'm not with even it, saying it, but, but I'm just using Jack Harlow as an example. People would be not on be, his ass, bro. But that's why Chica was pissed, <laughs> is because <clears throat> she felt like everybody else in the group chat was like gonna like give YG a pass what group chat is this I don't know exactly. it's some kind of activist Black Lives Matter type group That's chat with cool. a lot of like super high profile people in That's it I think cool, yeah. and Chica was mad as fuck about the YG thing and I think she either left the group chat because she felt like she couldn't trust them because they didn't want to make a big deal out of it because they didn't want to upset YG fans or some shit like that and that was like a big thing on Twitter yesterday yeah, but see being an adult, you got to understand all viewpoints or something. Because I could mm-hmm. do something right now that I may not have no malice about, but it can it can offend somebody in another way. And it's up to me to be like, all right, I can see where you're coming from when it comes to this. You got and, some, and some shit, too, you got to look at the bigger picture. Is like, do you think that this guy was sitting there trying to capitalize or do something crazy when he's probably before... Uh, for the longest, made songs about the police, police bru- brutality. Donald Trump, like YG, has always stood up Nigga, against the, the fucking. The you know what I'm saying? The corrupt, like from the from the beginning. For sure, and definitely yeah. is a person that has had his fair bad experiences with the police to be able to make those first hand uh, type songs. You know, but you experiences. Wanna, okay, this is. I'm gonna put myself in their shoes of why they might not have wanted to make a big deal out of it is because I think they want people on their side. And if yeah, they sure. if they end up 
going in hard and attacking a popular rapper like YG, I think then you're sort of like taking the general hip hop community, the, the random YG fans, and you're sort of making all these Black Lives Matter activists sort of look like shrill, annoying protester types. And that's not really what they want to do. They, if, if, <clears throat> if they really want like people on their side just coming at YG and, and causing division amongst black people right there, I could see how a lot of them would think that that's kind of counterproductive to what they're actually going to do, especially when at a time like that where everybody's yeah. protesting against the cops and talking about the Breonna Taylor and shit, it's kind of like, well, do you really want to just like turn this into a big anti-YG party for the next few days? Yeah. That's like, I could see why they would be adverse to going with that, even if they and agreed with what Chica was saying about it yeah. being kind Everything's of Everything's supposed to be about unity, man. And like that's you just said, fact. out in somebody that stands for what we standing for, it is fucked up, and then too, it's just like, come on, man. Now, now it's 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 it, it's we get into too many parallels now, where everybody is offended by fucking every Everything, single yeah. thing that somebody does, bro. Like nobody is fucking perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga didn't fucking do no crazy ass yeah, shit. Yeah. That that's that like that, like, like why is this that, even a fucking big deal? I don't, I don't know if it was a big deal. Cause, I mean, first of all, that girl he said, I don't even know who that is still. Her music, is, her music is fucking so fire, know, though. Yeah. She was on a double XL cover, wasn't she? Yeah, her, really? she can, she, she's dope. She's a dope ass artist. But I'm just she saying, she was by far the best rapper on that cover. She's mm -hmm. nice. What she's year? Nice. What year is it? 2019? Most recent? The, the reason, oh, most really? recent. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I got to tap in with her. But I'm just saying, like, was that really a big story that, that she was. I think it like wasn't a big story. It, it was a thing on Twitter, but it mm. wasn't like a big, huge thing. And if is, all them Black Lives Matter chicks got behind it, it would have been a fucking way bigger thing. Is this the same girl with like the J. Cole shit or like J. Cole? Like, That's no song? name. That's okay. no name. Sorry. See, but, I am deep in the woke Twitter yeah, sphere, I know. Man. I'm, I'm out it, here. If, I'm, I'm out of the loop on this one. I'm following sorry, them. I'm not getting the follow back, but I'm out here. <laughs> they nah, not following. But that's, no. another, that's another thing, too. You got to look at the people that you're dealing with, background and stuff like that. Like, Baby C-Mac is not going to see things the same, same way oh that, God, that, yeah. a, that a Black Lives Matter political activist would do that. And it takes you stepping up and educating the people who may not know how certain things are and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what that's about. And I feel like I'm kind of in the middle now to where I'm like, I have enough... Um, sense and, and, and background now that I can help motherfuckers bridge the gap from the streets and then, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because for the most part, like I said earlier, I want to get better at just being a person, period, and how yeah. people view me. You know what I'm saying? Because it went from people just like being afraid to me, afraid of me now. They're like, hey, I like what you do. I like the filming. I like this. And then making them go back to music and look at everything yeah. that makes the overall brand more appealing. Because a nigga don't want people to be afraid of them and shit. Yeah, that's fine. But can I ask you something? Like, because like, I feel like I go through this all the time where like kids DM me or just like whatever, like, oh, like, 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 how do you like teach someone how to like, like move more accordingly in those type of like you know business like opportunities and just like like everything doesn't work for everyone and like when people like ask me advice on certain shit it's just like i don't be knowing how to respond to them because it's like i think the most important thing <clears throat> is just to like everybody needs to like go through shit in life to become more and more honest with themselves about yeah. like what they're good at uh -huh. what they want to be doing like i've seen so many people in my life like go through college do four years on a subject mm -hmm. and then just figure out like once they start doing the job that they don't want to fucking do that job yeah. and it's like you just need life experience whenever I see somebody get married at 18, 19 yeah. I'm like wait 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 mm -hmm. look, right. you don't know anything about who the fuck you are yet you got no business trying to permanently link yeah. yourself to somebody else But it, it's like Think about how many times where we we like have probably saw somebody that was like talented at what they did, but like they didn't know how to network or like the business side of it was like fucked up. So like it's like how do you, how do you take someone and like teach them? See, and that's the thing too is like you, what what not to do before like like you just said you said you was just in a car. I mean you was like you would expect that I'd be listening to something else. Like no, some people not won't. Not that I expect, it, it, but, you know. But no, I'm talking about like the overall mm -hmm. general synopsis of somebody. It may, it's changed probably since you know a little more about me. That's and that's fact. the thing is that when people only heard my music, 
Like it was just only like, oh, he's a gangster rapper, and that's the synopsis. That's your whole that's background, and everything. And I feel like No Jumper has opened it, and me doing like acting and other shit now was like, okay, Hell yeah. he's a likable guy. He's not just this, and it opens up the horizon. You gotta say something stupid. No, I see I you fucking. Not. I'm not gonna say anything about you killing a dog or whatever. I'm just gonna say <laughs> that it actually made me really happy before because you were talking about how you this weekend were. I, I, I assume you're in places that are mostly like black people that you wouldn't think necessarily are going to be watching this podcast mm -hmm. and they were like fucking with you like they clearly had seen it and that made me really happy too because it's like <clears throat> sometimes when I imagine our audience it's like I don't think it's like the people who are like grown and in the clubs and shit all the time oh nah bro you given that we are all immature as fuck <laughs> I'm just saying you would really be surprised bro the people that have came up to me and knew who I was from No Jumper you would be very surprised like mm. yeah bro I was at Whataburger and a nigga was just like Texas loves No Jumper so yeah. much it's a lot hey, of you've Texas. made even No Jumper he was bro. like takes his phone out I'm like Jesus I got the weirdest like view of it because the other day me and my trainer like instead of working out in the gym or in the garage we we went on this like like super fast paced walk up this big ass hill like this route in my neighborhood just, it takes just like an too? hour yes and I had multiple people coming by just being like what's that what's up Adam and then the next one's like hey Adam congrats on the kid and my trainer is just like like, looking at me who like who the fuck are you i mean he's just like seeing like life he's from never, my perspective and i'm getting the perspective from him of like how weird this is that there's this many people that talk to me like they know me yeah and, I, and, and I just roll with it hasn't he been he's been training you for a while too right yeah but it's always just in the gym that's what i'm saying so this is the first time where he's yeah. really seeing like oh this nigga adam is lit <laughs> like, i'm about to bust a kevin spacey what do you mean <laughs> He'll well, find out later. Molest some little boy or something? Yeah, what I'm the like, fuck are you talking about? Wait, I'm like, huh? Wasn't Kevin Spacey like lost yeah. his whole career because he was fucking raping little boys? Oh, no, he, Yo, he was like yeah. on a hike with a fucking guy and they fucking caught him with like pictures and shit. Wait, what Yo. was he doing on the hike? I think he was getting some dome. <laughs> he was getting some dome on the road? Damn, the some homie hike. was slurping the homie? <laughs> on the hike too? That's a crazy part. Hey, but Kevin Spacey, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He, he, man, I was a big House of Cards fan, and I was like, fuck, he had to fuck it up. Do you think that, like, all the canceled actors should start their own movie world where they just, like, <laughs> no. like Kevin Spacey can just do movies with all the other canceled people? I think Woody Allen can be the director. Yay! No. I think that no. some people that deserve to be canceled, and some motherfuckers, like, okay, if you were fucking Harvey Weinstein or one of these other motherfuckers, yeah, be you the deserve CEO of the company. Even R. Kelly. <laughs> like, prison. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Imagine Harvey fucking running the whole thing from prison. Yeah, like, it's nah. Is he still perfect. alive? Harvey yeah, Weinstein? He's in jail. Oh, that's Epstein. That yeah. Died, never yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Epstein, he can, he'll, he'll, get, he'll get a little percentage. It needs he to be a thin Epstein line of die. fucking cancel, though. Epstein did not die. That was all fake. He's in Cuba somewhere. He's a nomad now. You know, Tupac was supposed to have Tyson Beckford's role in, or excuse me, Tyrese's role in Baby Boy. I heard that. Where did you, what? I saw it on Wikipedia. That's kind of crazy. That would have been fucking crazy. It would be <laughs> such a legendary movie if he had actually it's had It's already a legendary, it a legendary okay, movie. It would be Adam, way don't fucking more legendary. Yeah, please. It would be no Baby Boy slander. Have you ever seen Juice? Juice? Bigger. Have you ever seen Juice? Juice been been amazing. I'm going to put that on the list. Juice, a, a Tupac movie, Fire. Uh, Sunset Drive, another one. Um, I need the people I didn't in really the like chat Poetic to help Justice, me with honestly. a list. Huh? Juice was my favorite. I didn't like Poetic Justice. I need to do an Adderall day where I just watch like eight movies. But I got to take notes too because I'll probably forget. I was going to say, were you really I honestly think The Wood mm -hmm. is going to be your favorite. Pause. Pause. Big pause. But yeah. the but the the Wood kind of has like a soft, like sensual side to it too. Like because it's like, you know. Not people. watching it. No, it's a coming of age story it's a in the hood. Coming of age story. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. But I feel like once it gets to the lovey dubby part, he's going to be off it. No, he's not. Adam has no soul. Wait, well, watch a, poetic wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Adam has no sense a of guy, feelings. A guy liking a woman is nothing. That's in fucking Adam doesn't every like women. fucking movie. Adam doesn't like women. He's not going to like, he, he, he won't resonate. Let me, what is your favorite hood movie of all time? Adam doesn't like women. Mm. I'm just sitting here Minutes taking this abuse. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. But the wood, like, I think, pause. The, the wood. <laughs> <laughs> I just, <laughs> you know. Pass you, the wood. Pause. Pause. <laughs> That's some wood to pass yeah. Bro, watch yeah. that. But if you if you watch uh damn, you watch Juice, that's the East Coast. That's Tupac killing 
the role as an East Coast No, what guy. I need to watch is I need to watch Colors because yes. Colors you need is to watch classic. Everyone talks about Colors so goddamn yeah. much. I'm ne- I feel like I know all about it because I've heard so many people blame gangbanging on Colors and you ever blame seen the, um, gun warfare on Colors. Hot Top. Uh, American Me is a good one, too. That's good, too. With the Hispanic gangs and shit. That's that like my favorite. Pop? My favorite Hispanic no, no, not at movie all. of all time is My Familia. We used to watch that mm. in school all the time. What about it's Selena? Fucking dope. I watched Selena in the Spanish. Selena movie She's in so Spanish thick. class when I was thirteen. So thick, bro. Selena was. She was too, but also J Lo in that movie. Oh my god. No, got- no. Selena was way thicker. I wish you guys were here to see the fucking booties that were in here yesterday. What do y- y'all I saw? Them. You posted Who? Alexis Morgan and Kendra Carter. I want to just start hanging out here just for that. They're augmented, but Jesus Christ. They're augmented. My girl actually worked with them today. And you was upset. I'm not upset, but I am worried that she's going to be offended that I actually want to see this content. And normally when she works with other girls, I don't, don't care. Fuck, yeah. It's for research purposes. No, I just want to see what those booties look like. They, were, they, they look pretty crazy on the gram. I can't hold you. Honestly, my girl's booty... Next just, to those things? Wait, wait, just just leave it alone. <laughs> oh, yo, come you, on, man, you, you're digging yourself. I want to see oh. how it's gonna fucking like what okay. it's gonna look like side by side because that's a good save, good bro. Save. I swear to God, like Sada Baby's team looked like they were having fucking. Oh, like, they were they, here. Why the like they were like fu- like. God damn it! I wish I was here. I'm not gonna try to get anybody in particular in trouble, but I definitely like. It, it's weird, like when when there's a giant fake ass in the room. You you'll have Everyone's like energy otherwise, otherwise intelligence dudes like their their fucking IQ drops by like twenty five points and they're just all of a sudden like slobbering all over themselves they're like Adam <laughs> if I was here I'd read a book you the man bro if I was, yo if I was here I'd be reading a book I'd be bro. like this you know there's funny, no asses around here it's funny when Brian Pumper always like talks about how like niggas niggas be like yo where the hoes at and it's like bro like <laughs> like like, like, just expect- you, like that's like 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 you experience that I, like I own time. a plot of land and I'm just gonna like give you it like, Honest, here, honestly have I, some land if I wanted like find some bitches I would yeah, I would ask Adam like hey hook me up a ba 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 and. Even when one of my good friends asked me to like l- link him with a with a porn star or whatever, like I will do that for sure. But like that's my like good friends, like people I really fuck with. No, you didn't. Told, I've seen him do. You it. didn't told a porn star, AD, don't fuck with him. Don't play with me right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me. Hey, he's like, don't play. With me. Don't play with twenty two on this one, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. I'm but, taking smart off your name. But that again, that's I've like, seen it happen. like I've if seen House it. Phone hit me up about a very specific porn star chick and said, like, yo, tell her to open my DM. I want to I want to talk to her. Rah, rah. I, I would do it. Wait, wait. But I know you very, very well. I'm not gonna extend yeah. that to any old Joe on the street. Wait, but like would it would it would it depend on the level of like famous of, of the girl that the homie was For asking? For sure. If I thought you had no business trying to talk to her, which you know could be the case, yeah. or like, you know, sometimes like Girls have fucking boyfriends, boyfriends and secret and like situations. Dudes will be hitting the game up all is called shows because a lot of OnlyFans girls do not are in a relationship. They do not fuck random dudes and they just are yeah. out here acting like they're sluts, but they're not. Yeah, they're, just I, chill, I they're chilling at the crib, that. fucking. They're they're. One but the nigga. game is called shoes. If she ha- happens to open it and she happens to entertain it, yeah. then you happen I, to get her. I, I saw a dude tweet like, "I got to stop drinking," and then it was a screenshot of him basically like emailing. Tiana Trump and getting a response, like arranging the escort date. Oh, and it wow. went viral. He posted the picture of the response email from her and wrote like, "I need to stop drinking or whatever." And I, I that's amazing. Is it that easy to book Tiana Trump for a escorting? Course, services? I wouldn't tell I if it was me. I would away. not have said shit. I would. I wouldn't have said nothing. I would have woke me. up sober the next day. Like, oh shit, man. Yeah, that I is should. like cardinal sin number one. Is you don't you don't snitch on the fucking She's like, escort game, snitch right? man. Yeah, he's like he's like the girl that snitched on uh, on uh, little baby, allegedly. Allegedly. But do you remember a site? You definitely don't remember this because I was like part of a very small community that, that was observing this. But mm. it was a site called Tag Your Sponsor. And it was basically like a blog of these mm-hmm. dudes. And they would make fake profiles pretending to be like, you know, Saudi sheiks and shit. And they would DM like famous Instagram model chicks and basically ask them like, you know, will, will you let me like fly you out to Dubai? But I'll give you $20,000. And they get, they get the girls to agree. 
and then they, they start, start naming like, worse and they worse start things. Them crazy see how far shit. they go. And all of a sudden, you got a girl <clears throat> agreeing to like eat some camel shit or yep. like suck mm-hmm. a camel dick or whatever. Just crazy shit. Crazy. And then they're like exposing these. It was like mind blowing. Looking they're, they're, at this, it was like bitches with like millions of followers and shit too. Like they were like lit. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't I'm be surprised. Camel dick. I would let the Claremont twins scam the fuck out of me. I, I would let. I would let. I would let them literally drain me of every fucking dollar in my bank account. Would you eat this would, much camel shit for twelve hours of coke fueled sex with the Claremont twins? Yes, I would. I would eat a whole thing <laughs> filled, up, filled up of camel shit. Would you eat <laughs> this much camel shit? For Maybe. a night with a Claremont Twins. I'm, Honestly, I, probably. At that point, it becomes like you, you have to just like book an escort date. With, I, like, I don't even know if they do that, but I feel like if you're like, no disrespect If you're like, yo, I'm going to have to eat this much camel shit, they're going to be like, all right, let's just fuck them. Oh, no. I, w- I would eat the camel shit and book them too, just for the opportunity for a sniff. They look, wonder, like, they look like they smell so good. I wonder if like they can, smell like expensive, like Chanel or like YSL. You do, you do bring them up a good amount. I fuck with them. No, they're tight. And the one went to jail and she came back and they're just bad. They're just bad boss twin bitches. It's fine. Using a dead man's credit card. Bro, fuck that nigga. Get him out of here. <laughs> that I'm is fuck. hard. That's so, bro. They're, bro, they need, they need to start fucking rapping. I feel rapping. like I'm getting contact. They, they, when they I need, heard they that. They need to rap and she, uh, the one needs to rap about catching a body you, and yes. doing time about Be, it. Because, yeah, we just assume that she killed the guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. But. When I found out about that with the Claremont twins, it made me feel like the way that I felt when I like realized, you know, like, that, like, like when you watch the video about King Vaughn and you realize yeah. how much shit he had done in his life, or and like, you're like, or allegedly, no, allegedly, this dude is allegedly, rest in peace, or, a real savage. When I heard about them using the dead man's credit card, I'm like, yo, that is some it was, savage. But that, allegedly, a lot of people this do is that, all allegedly. In your world, I believe it. Yeah. Yes, I've seen, I've I honestly have heard about that a lot of times. I was like, huh? Man, I can't even believe they tried to put that on her at all. Like, bro, he was a rich trick nigga that probably was doing drugs by himself all the time. Like, you can't blame that on, on bro. Fitting all. Fitting all killed him. But if you're an old rich dude and you can just have the Claremont twins be your sugar babies, like, how, do, how does a, a little house phone get into a similar arrangement where oh, because I'm can crowdfund 10, 10 Gs for a night? You know? Crowdfund, nigga. I got it's a high rollers fund. What <laughs> fuck you talking about? <laughs> Honestly, that is a crowd fun. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, fact, it's all about your mouthpiece, man. Man, mm. for real, it's like it's all bro. about your mouthpiece. Because you, you got to think about it. It's since the beginning of time, you have these multi-millionaires, right? Their fucking wife is getting fucked by the pool guy. Yeah. You want to know why? Mm-hmm. He's hitting them with that. But I think House Phone should invest in himself and in his brand mm-hmm. and hit up the Claremont twins. Drop you know whatever they it is me. that they're charging they for me. the 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 high rollers photo shoot, no, and then sure. once you're in that environment, hey, j- hey, just know then I, you can start trying to offer them money for intercourse. Oh my god! <laughs> now this nigga's trying to ruin my whole fucking brand. <laughs> trying to get me canceled on Twitter. <laughs> they say house phone is using high rollers. Yeah, no, no, I, I, see, I regret but... that I didn't pay for sex during my my Jesus. single days. That would have been more. You lit. have to pay for it anyway. I was exactly. gonna say you for show sure, like. Wait meta- a minute! If you take a girl on a, to a date into a movie, you're paying. If you pay eventually for the, Uber, for the sex, you pay for the Uber, you pay for the food, you buy or something. I remember it's all the same listening shit. to an interview with one of these motocross dudes from back in the day, like a metal militia dude or whatever, and he was talking Ain't about no how dude. when he would go to a new country or whatever, him and his boys like they don't know any girls. What do they do? They get escorts. Yeah. All of a sudden, they're talking to the fucking baddest chicks, like the craziest chicks who want to hang out with scumbags like you, who want to do coke, etc. Yeah, you pay for the first night, but then all of a sudden, you're in the fucking world. Yeah. You got all these girls who want to do coke with you, and you can just fucking work from there, network around See, the city. I'm not with buying escorts, but I'm with using my mouthpiece, getting a woman intrigued with me, and just be like, hey, um, how much you need today to have some fun? Mm. And, and depending on how they respond... They're gonna do it for free anyway, but I might as well just hey. I felt that. Here's a here's a three four hundred dollar cash app for you. Damn. You know what I mean? And there, I don't have to worry about it. There was a girl I knew just because she like worked on Melrose or whatever, so she had my number just from like being on the block and shit. And yeah. like me and Lena were at a party back in the day, and we see that girl, 
And she starts fucking texting me right away, being like, oh, what like, what, what are you and Lena doing after this, yada, yada? And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. But also, it's going to be weird. Like, I See know my girl's not going to appreciate the fact that this girl's hitting up me to do it and not just hollering at her directly. And then but also, then, you may be seeing her again. Oh, no. She, but then she's like, y- y'all should be my sugar parents. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck. Bitch, I responded what? like, uh, I don't think that's happening. Bro. It would what? have been cool though. That's like a sponsorship. That's Were a scholarship. You I've had down. a lot of old ladies hit me up. I, if she told ladies. me that she was a college student, then maybe I could have told my girl that. Like, but you don't just I think say we should that. invest in this college fund. But you don't just say that before you even like she ain't even link up with you. Like you ain't y'all ain't even fuck her yet. We were at the same party. She's texting me from the other side of the party saying that saying she, you should be you should be my sugar babies. I wonder what she was gonna ask. I wonder if it was gonna be like four hundred bucks kind of thing or like nah, a five thousand no, dollars. No, four hundred up like this. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, let me ask. Was this like two chain Adam twenty two days? Probably. So though. she you probably had a Gucci shirt on? Gucci shoes. She was. She wanted the four thousand, not the four hundred. Damn. Feel me? I'm five for a crib. She was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, but that's. But see, that's actually nah, dope. Like you know, you're at a different level when woman would even how ask I feel you now, for, bro. bro. I've been looking at it as a bad thing until you just said that right now. No, it's the high rollers drop. It's not bad, bro. Like bro, you, like just you do go Mozzie and post your bank account and just watch yep. it flock. <laughs> Bro, like you go to the Mazi club, you buy some bottles, and then the women be like, "Oh, pa 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 pa," and you give them like a big tip. They they're, hey, what's up with you? Pa, 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 pa. But you know, I would love to oh, as as that, as an experiment. This, this is what I would love to know what would yeah. happen, and I I don't think you should actually do this, but post the bank account and let's say it's got you know call a couple hundred thousand in it, like just screenshot the bank account at the best possible moment in your cycle of business before you, you know, whatever. But yeah. post it up and say, who wants to help me spend this on Coke and see what girls show up in the DMs? You may get a million followers overnight. That's just, I, I would just want to see what girls, and then you just have to send me screenshots on screenshots. I just want to know what girls are responding to that and what they're saying. This sounds like the worst No, don't idea. do it. But I would want, I want to know what would happen. I'm waiting to do this. AD Yo. just a uh, 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 a post you know one of them posts that says AD lands six or seven figure <laughs> deal for some media yeah, something right, yeah, and yeah. I just post that shit on my Instagram but you know we we can hire a PR company and to we can say whatever right the fuck now, we yeah. want no so we I, want say, to, I want to I want to actually do it I'm speaking it to well, existence that's not gonna happen no. <laughs> yes it is <laughs> yes no but we could put out a press release and be like AD secures multi million dollar new no jumper business venture. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. No jumper. Wait a minute. Fans it's deal. a lie. But wait a minute. And and we see the new office. Mm. And we turn it into a crip headquarters and we have DJ Tiny Loke Fuck whatever fucking lurking DJ around all day because Tiny AD told him that he was gonna help him get a job after prison and then all of a sudden we got our fucking DJ Tiny Well Loke technically fuck you got is- Kiki. Exactly. Kiki is a good example <laughs> of the kind of guy that I'm talking about. <laughs> he, came, he came from prison. He, he's got a job with no jumper. Kiki hey, seems so reasonable. Kiki, Kiki's the kind of guy that when I met him, he had a pound of weed. So I'm like, oh, okay, we'll be cool forever. Kiki's now. a cool ass nigga, bro. I fuck with him, man. I fuck with Kiki too. He helped raise me. He bailed on Yuri for TED Talks for a third time. Hey, yeah, fuck Yuri because I keep telling Kiki him. Kiki has merch now, it. bro. He's a whole nother level now, bro. I keep he that's has what Yuri, ski tees. That's what Yuri keeps this is what happens. Motherfuckers come with no jumper and they just. just no, you know what it is? I think That's I'm the only person... to replace you with Kiki some week. You could. That's what Yuri gets for... You know what? That's what all you motherfuckers get. Y'all fucking sexualizing gang stuff so much that Yuri's just on Kiki's dick. Mm. He's like, I need a crib. Nigga, I keep telling Yuri every week that I'll do it. But I he, was his first guest Yuri and I did not bail on him. Yuri he bailed on him like it, eight times. Yuri no, I did not. First guest off. and I went there. Yuri keeps putting me off to bring Kiki on and Kiki keeps flaking on him. Did Yazzie flake on him too? Bro, the <laughs> the theme of, Shme- of your, I thought your sweater says schmegma, schmegma. It does. They um, gave us they gave us those. I have one too. I love a bomber. Um, they were kind of cute. We need to make more bombers. Uh, but but Yuri, the theme of his podcast is here's me interacting with just any random person that I've ever met in my life. <laughs> It could be anyone, and that's like, <laughs> but but it, literally every person so far has been somebody that he has met from working here. So he hasn't even dipped into his bag, which I'm surprised he hasn't done because like I need a Hollywood Allen episode. Yuri, Yuri's most successful video on his his channel is Day in the Life of Hesh N Word, and it has the asterisks on the N Word yeah, and everything. Hesh. And Hesh, 
I don't really think people call him Hesh N word. That's just like what his, his Twitter name was, name Hesh, was yeah. at the time. Now everybody just calls him Hesh. Well. But Yuri has it there on YouTube because he's racist and he has a lot of views <laughs> on it because people are probably fascinated with like who is Wait a minute. Who is Hesh? Y'all keep saying Yuri is racist. <laughs> well, he's Russian. Oh no, my god. Yeah. I was watching 90 Day, 90 Day Fiance on the plane. Oh my god. Amazing. You see the the dude we, who are you about to talk about? I'm on season are you talking seven. About Muhammad? Nah, season seven. You always seven. talk about him. That's the best one. He said, who, who, who'd you see? Because I've seen some I've good seen Russian a, action. Yeah, on I it. don't get it my like sex. Get me departed. He got the girl pregnant. Uh, uh, like th this is like the late, whatever was the latest season, season seven, I guess. You oh. got to see No Neck Ned. The, oh, no, no Neck Ned is amazing. Oh, that, yeah, the guy's like this. But there's this dude, David, I believe his name was, and he has this fucking Russian girl that he's talking to for years and years, and he's only talking to her on She's a pace blonde, site. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, it seems so obvious the whole season that she doesn't exist but and she's she never going to meet up with him. But somehow the producers of the show pulled some fucking sorcery or some Found shit, her. finally got her to link up with him. He gets her a phone. He gives her an iPhone, and she still won't text him. She only will talk to him on the pay site because it's so obvious she's scamming him. I don't think he ever beat the cheeks. No, he did. It sounds like a good, a good lady to me. It should be illegal to not give this guy some pussy after 10 years of illegal. paying her, dude. 10 illegal. years? Like, this dude spent his whole fucking yeah. life. Like, 90 Day Fiance is like the most mind-blowing shit of how sad these people's lives are. Wow. But my favorite is this one American woman, and she fucking goes to Jamaica, oh, yeah. meets a waiter, like mm -hmm. a 21-year-old dude. She flies him out. He moves out there. He's supposed to get married to her, and he's on Tinder the next day. <laughs> <laughs> no. My favorite is Daniel Muhammad, bro. He gets married to her, and they're like, you can now kiss the bride. He's like, I, I cannot kiss because oh, of my God, religion. Yeah. Yes, no, bro, no, I swear to God. talking about with what's her name, Nicole, the fat ass white girl. Yeah. Oh my oh, God. Oh my God. And he so wants nothing like to do with her. That shit is so funny, bro. The lady, tell you, he's mad. He's getting an interview. He says, she says, if I don't get my sex, she is going to get me deported. Bro, there the, the episode I was watching, it was a forty three year old white nigga who was rich as fuck off of the wine business. And his girl was like some twenty year old model from Brazil. He's on the he's he's in the jewelry spot buying her jewelry for when she gets there. He gets he gets a call from her and she bought a car on his credit card. Uh -huh. A car uh -huh. on his credit card. How, how do you buy a car on a credit card? Actually, like, my homie did that back in the day. But I'm just like, what, a there's, there's so what type of bank do you have and they don't, you don't get flagged that someone in Brazil is buying and a that's, car? But that's the weird thing when you're watching 90 Day Fiance is you're always trying to figure out what's real and what's yeah. not real because all right, there's one episode where there's this dude and he's, he's, he's going to marry this Thai girl and his friend just asks her in the middle of the meal, he just goes, so... I was wondering, if you moved to America, would you be able to give me a Thai massage? And she just looks, and he says it right huh? in front of his wife and shit. And she's looking at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But then that guy ended up making a YouTube video and talking about how the producers were just like feeding him lines of like outrageous shit to say. Mm. And But you never see, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they make you sign like very, very tight arrangements when you're on 90 Day Fiance yeah, where you can't sure. make YouTube videos or whatever. Because otherwise you would see all these people becoming YouTube stars for yeah. talking about their experiences on the show. But then it would fuck up the show because then the show is not going to be able to just like use them Muhammad for their does content. it on YouTube does he yep but he's maybe not they the are out anymore, there right? doing it but I just haven't really seen it or whatever if you're not on the show no more then it don't matter which did you see the no? Kevin yeah. Samuel shit I sent you I didn't watch that bro fucking the fire bro why he's just like talking to this lady who's all obviously a fucking psycho bro, we gotta call Kevin Samuels out bro for what? We got almost a million views. The interview is oh, classic. Yeah. I love this guy. Sweetie is not a fucking six. Sweetie is not. No. Yeah, what kind of, kind of drugs yeah, yeah, is yeah, this yeah, yeah, man yeah. on? I want to see a graph of women that he would put in the 10 category. Women yeah. he, would he said put in the Rihanna's nine. a 10. He says Rihanna's a 10. He I says Kelly Rowland's a nine. He says Beyonce's an eight. He says it all the time. But um, Sweetie, Sweetie is definitely 10. And if not a 10, Everyone has you weird... have to give her a 9.5. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We can all universally agree that just some women are just automatic 10s because of how they look, their Beyonce stature. Beyonce is an 8. He says that. That is yeah, so... Yeah, he's crazy. crazy. Beyonce is a fucking 10. Of what most, let, let us yeah, remember yeah, yeah. that a, a 1 has to be like a 400-pound woman with a beard. Like the bitch that's saying, ooh, I just nutty. Like, like you have to remember that, like... like <laughs> you like, got a humpback <laughs> listen, fuck listen, that. You have to admit humpback that a four or a three is still going to be someone Terrible. that 
is not great, but that the one of the homies would still definitely put his dick in. So think about that. Like a four is not great, but it's still like maybe. So then Saweetie is a six. No, Saweetie is a 10. I'm sorry. You, she, she's like a 10 or a nine. She has to be mm-hmm. in the upper, De- upper, upper, upper echelon she's of so it. Fun. Otherwise, it makes no sense because the average woman on the street, we could, we could go find 2,000 women and <laughs> none of them are going to look close to sweetie for the most part you're gonna find like a couple of them that are like close on that level of beauty that's yeah. re- and i'm not like the biggest crazy sweetie stan or whatever that's but fact, you but have to acknowledge her as being upper 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 tier beauty cut no like i noticed is that he kind of likes women on the darker side that's so cool. i i can see how because i know guys too who be like i don't like light-skinned women and they be like i like dark ass women and shit like that mm-hmm. and their scale is different everybody got different, mine's everybody is. got different preferences like but nigga, me sweetie's i like fucking thick, 10. i like thick ass bitches like some if you show me some bitch that's beautiful in the face if it's like hella skinny i'm gonna be like you know what she's pretty but right. i'm gonna go with you know everybody got different preferences people got different shit that they but, gave but shit think, off of. this is how skewed that is is that kevin samuels said that tommy loren was a six Tommy Loren. I is, gave her eight. Tommy, Tommy, Loren. Tommy Loren is a very attractive woman, is as far Tommy as I'm concerned. I think that I think no, he bro. no, she's this white like conservative like news Wait. chick basically. Wait, he's oh I know. You're See, talking Tommy, about. Tommy well, from Love and Hip Hop is like my speed, bro. Shit. I give her a ten. No, no, I know you're talking about. Wait, he said she she he was said what? that she was a six. I'm sorry. So she he if put her on the same level and as Tommy Sweetie? Loren are in the same category, then there's Yo, something he, wrong here because Tommy Loren is good looking, but she is not even close to Sweetie's beauty. Tommy from Love and Hip Hop. Tommy That's Loving my speed right there. I, top, I like that. Top five. Yeah. I like that. What's Ruby crazy. Rose in there? What's Ruby She's Rose? She's crazy. I love crazy. Ruby, I, I've I, never done the rating I've girls give, thing. I've before. Give, yeah, this is weird. I give Ruby it's Rose, I give Ruby Rose a, a, a 10 or a 9. You know why it's She's weird? She's got to be upper echelon. I, otherwise, this, 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 listen, this, listen, kind of, listen. It's weird. It all depends on how like, you're grading it, though, bro. No, it's not because everyone could grade shit differently. So that's why it's no, weird. No, because there's some women, bro, that somebody says, oh, she's bad. And I'd be like, she's not pretty. That's, to me. that's exactly what I'm saying. And that's why it got women like feeling some type of way. And like, that's why bitches open up their phone and look at Instagram and get depressed because motherfuckers is giving their opinions. And it's like, just because that's your opinion, that don't mean it's everybody's opinion. You and feel me? And we, it, it's fucking women's heads up. Bro. We were having this conversation with the girls from fucking shit show Shag Mag whatever go watch the interview that they did with me and ad but where like imagine what it's like to be those girls they're both skinny ass girls and they have to like they have like men looking at the explore page and seeing all these girls who've had bbls and seeing these fake asses and then they're like looking at these girls who just have natural skinny butts like, or oh, whatever fuck here, you know? i love you becca i love you becca i love becca i love julia yeah. whatever what up pop but, lord but it's just like Imagine how weird it is to be a girl who has a natural body but and just think have about, to be put in comparisons, all these but look, fake bodies. But it's the same shit back in the day when it was like ha- being skinny as fuck and having big titties was like the, yeah. that was like the hot thing. Like if you didn't look like this Playboy model that looked like that, then you weren't. So it's like, it's the same shit. It's just different. I wonder if there's a lot of girls out there with, with that are like skinny, like amazing bodies, but like very skinny. And they're just out here like stuffing their faces with cheeseburgers, because hoping to be to, a, a thick so, Instagram so they, model so one day. So gain weight and then get a BBL. But see, I have to gain 40 pounds so I can be hot on Instagram. There's certain like actor yes, chicks and stuff is. that are very skinny. Oh, yeah. There's still a percentage that are of the population. that's bad, bro. But, but in our world, there's, you know, it's very like out of the ordinary that even a girl like Ruby Rose, usually girls that skinny don't nah, get she attention got in hip hop. cheeks on her, though. She do got and she's pretty though. as fuck, too. Like, you know? And her, bro, bro, any real nigga know that little titties. Perky booty is the the god tier combo. You think that Ruby will ever go for it and, and get what surgery? Mm. She don't need it though. She don't need, she don't need it. it now. But I wonder mm. if she'll be twenty five and just be like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm, I'm going crazy." <laughs> How is she now? Like twenty one? She's young as fuck. I forget. Yeah, bro. I gotta tell you something after the stream. Just say it now. No, I can't. <laughs> is it about your STD test? No, no. Are we oh. good on it? We good on all ends, baby. COVID test, STD test, we all good. Toke just walks up in here with a fucking corona. He's yeah. like, man, this shit over. They got a million of my dollars too. Man. I'm vaccinated. Well, that nigga said they got a million of my dollars. You got no, vaccinated, no. Paul Lord? His wife, huh. his wife pours Sprite into the corona. To That's like what I'm big. saying. His girl walks in with about she an does eighth this every of a week. bottle of Sprite. She does. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not a lot. <laughs> I was looking around like, is there going to be a pint around here? Is she going to drop hey, a deuce in there or what? She about, to drop, she about to drop a deuce of corona in there. Yo, you know what could keep us on this podcast for another half hour? Is we started talking about Draco and YG. 
What about him? Well, what really, about it's, him? It's, it's really just Draco because Draco just went on this crazy ass Twitter rant. But then I'm seeing people on Twitter saying that the rant was like basically in response to YG's No Jumper interview, even though we did not mention Draco one time. And I don't understand what? how the fuck so he, that would be related at all. Him? Maybe huh? he was sneak dissing him. I don't know. Saying some subliminal shit. I gotta ask Draco. He would never admit it. He'd be like, I mean, no. you just said he went on a rant about I'll it. I'll be like, no, but like he went on an overall rant about how he's the greatest rapper from Wait, LA. But he didn't say ever, the name, et cetera, right? et cetera. I mean, but he never said anything about so he, he, if he doesn't he's supposed feel, to feel like that, though. If he doesn't feel like that, then why are you a rapper? If you don't feel like you're the greatest rapper in LA to ever do it. That's like the homie Yellow Hill, bro. Shout out to Yellow Hill. He said, like, other than RJ, no one on the West Coast can fuck with him. And I just literally wrote, like, hmm. Like, I feel like. Rapping wise, ain't none of these niggas can fuck with me, but that's how you're supposed to feel. That's how you're supposed to feel. But but then how do you feel when you see dudes who you think are way worse at you at rapping who are like getting more attention than you? Who the, cares? How do you not let that, that get though. to you? Who cares though? There's listen, there's a lot all, of people do care. Or yeah. would care. Yeah. But a lot of people don't have other shit going on. You just on. have to have a certain mentality right. to not care because you've seen a lot of rappers get salty about that shit over the years, you know? Hell yeah. It's just a bad look if you're like out here like sort of like demanding that Respect. people like your music more than they do. It's, yeah. it's just like a weird thing, you know? And it's, like, and it's like when you, like, a lot of our most favorite legendary rappers had a period in their career where they were not getting as much attention. And, you know, it's, it's just a bad look if you, like, decide to go on Twitter and be like, fuck everybody who doesn't appreciate my genius. Shit. Yeah, Sometimes you gotta weird. feel like that, though. No, but, but, but the thing is, too, is like, that's how I feel right now. Music. Okay, and I had this conversation with House Phone and shit, too. I said, listen, there's different dynamics when it comes to how people view you. Because literally right now, bro, right, you can drop something tomorrow that changes your whole fucking life mm -hmm. that overpowers no jumper, bro. You mm -hmm. feel me? High rollers may overpower no jumper. And they'd be like, oh, that's what's it called from this? Like, Drake. You have your old town road. Yeah. And like like Drake, bro. I don't no one I don't think nobody brings up Degrassi no more when it comes to nah, Drake. No, like, oh, he bro. gay? Fuck her. <laughs> I didn't see it yet. All right. Fuck her. <laughs> Nobody else has probably seen it either. We do fucking no, but, right but when I was watching, it was fucking. <laughs> I was fucking crying. <laughs> but you're right. Degrassi was supposed to be the reason yeah. why Drake wasn't going to be successful. Like that's so stupid to now think about now. Now the other. Oh, you know, one time Lena actually like saw me like get heated. I oh, was it Lena? It was back in the day where like a girl like brought like we we brought You've up been Drake in a ditch all day. But we're I know she's gonna yeah, kill me right now. We were talking about Drake and this girl just immediately was like, oh, I can't get into him like because of Degrassi and I just like kind of went you're off like, you're on like, you her. Stupid. I got I hate it. And I like, like you fucking whole thing. It was a little weird. And you know the crazy thing about it is too is that Drake coming from an acting standpoint mm. hasn't acted since. Oh, like yeah. and that's so intentional. But cuz he could be the huge movie star right I now. I think he, he I think he I he's think he should SNL. do that though. He knows that would shorten his his music career. He yeah. knows he's not going to be able to be the god rapper. That is true. If people are forced to see that him in movies true. and shit because we see how it is where like I feel like if Ice Cube and Ice T like had never become movie stars, they probably be. their catalog would be regarded differently. Did you see that on Vlad Too Short was just saying how back then he was like, they were trying to turn him into an actor. They were giving him the best coaches, putting, giving him crazy roles that he wouldn't even have to audition for. And he said no. And he was kind of like, nah, fuck it. Like, I don't like acting. I just want to chill in Atlanta and make music and party. And he was saying how he kind of regrets it now because he sees what the career is like for somebody like and Ice see, Cube or Ice T. Where that's what I've been doing in one because of the feel, fucking do. Like, even joining this podcast is like, is a gateway to getting into other shit. It's yeah, like, you know what I mean? Even like a, a small role like the thing on Dave and shit is like that, that. That's if you big. do five more things like that, you could all of a sudden, like, by the time, because you are, like, you might feel like you're kind of getting up there in age, but there's a long-ass way to go, because you can Hell be an yeah. actor when you're 50, no problem. Yeah. Honestly, bro, that's what made me do the podcasting in the first place, bro, was me sitting at this fucking movie premiere, I mean, movie theater full of all these fucking top people, and seeing my face on a fucking theater with my name on the goddamn credits, and all these people like... that way, by the way. I gotta yeah, point that out. That's, that's amazing that that's you pronounce the, it like it's spelled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, but for me, for bro. these motherfuckers to come walk, like these directors coming to me, like, hey, you need to do this more. You're dope and you're all type of shit. And then it was just like, when Adam came with the fucking Snapchat show and the podcast shit, at first I was kind of like, mm -hmm. huh, I don't know. But then it was just like, this is how, this is a gateway for me to show my personality, yeah. show more who the fuck I am so somebody can see this shit and be like, hey, let's put him in the next Jurassic Park. That'd be fine. You could be a velociraptor. <laughs> <laughs> what if you like, oh shit, the T-Rex is coming, man. <laughs> See? 
Yo, That's by right. the way, you got to meet my kid, but you also got to meet uh, Henry because it's kind of a thing with their kids, I think, that Teddy has met you more significantly than Henry has. So it's kind of a what thing. Happened? Because you, to them, I don't know if you realize this, you are like like a mythical, you're like a dinosaur. You're like a <laughs> mythical creature that they know that there's a guy in an AD, but they don't really like, they're kind of confused about exactly what he's all about. And they know yeah. about Bagel. I don't know if they know it's a dead oh, dog, no. but they know about please Bagel. Don't, please no. don't ruin it. Yeah, don't no. tell them. That's that. like, that's like uh, finding out Santa Claus isn't real. Spoiler alert. It would be weird to like explain to your kid how it's so funny that this guy that your friends would kill the dog. Kill the it's dog. like, I feel like a kid would have a hard time understanding why that's a joke. <laughs> oh my God. It's not a joke at all. It's not a joke when a dog dies. Anyway, you guys... You guys took your weed? Shout out to the Stooge I got, Life. I got one. We got some in here? All right. We smoking Big King we Lee in this bitch. Shout out Stooge Life. We got the pre-rolls, hey, all that. Stooge Life, DM me, man. I need a pack, too. Stooge Life, DM me. I need a pack, too. Oh, Big hey, high rollers. I need a pack, too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You got some for me? No, not some. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He about to leak, pair. son. Let me see. I'll leak a pair one time. Oh. oh no. Put that on your fucking fan page. Damn, those ones are hard. These are Come fun. on. Those are the Guy Fieri joints yeah. with hey. the flames in hey, front. Hey, shit. Hey, hey, Adam. These are, these are, wait a minute. Hey, I might have to wait in line hey, for those. Hey, Real Adam. good quality, I can say. And, wait a minute. I need these, bro. They all, they all wait, 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 wait. They all have that in there. For real? Hey, you don't fucking pay attention What's to my brand. Inside? It's a crap stable. They all have crap stables. My nigga, I'm the, one of the biggest crap players, bro. Every shoe has a crap stable inside. It's inside full of AD. crap. Okay. But don't, okay, wait. I don't want to leak these too much because they're not out yet. Ah, damn. He just leaked a big wait, 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 a wait, big wait, facet. Wait, wait. And you know I saw and you know I saw the high roller North Faces for twelve hundred dollars each and they sold out. Oh what? Come on. Hey, hey, by the way, I'm going to ship you your jacket uh, today, bro. <laughs> my oh, my God. Hey, the you just made it more legendary the for The drip him. business is a good business to yeah, be nah, in, Yeah, shout out guy. to bro. Damn. Yeah, that's fire. Put that on your fan page. That's another movie you got to oh! watch. Oh! Yeah, that's another movie you got to watch, Players Damn. Club. Come on, man. Yeah, shout out to Players Club, the movie. I think it just Toke is not wearing high rollers. He's wearing, he's wearing Converse. I'm a yeah. thirsty ass bitch right now. I need to go order me a salad. Yeah, I need Hopefully a, they I don't need, forget the dressing. I, yeah, I need some fucking food. Hey man, this has been no hey, jumper. That was, a long, that was a long one. Pause. That's a long one. I That's right. That's a Brian you. Pumper right there. If you ask me, I'm finna do a uh, surprise drop on Thursday. So y'all better be ready. No password. Watch House Phone stream, but also watch the C Mac the Loke interview. If you have not yet, is one of the greatest pieces of content to ever exist in the history of written man. Oh fuck her. <laughs> fuck her. Also, me and Paulo are about to be streaming literally right now. We're about to just load up the stream right now. 